Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the What's Good podcast with today a special guest. The <clears throat> Alex. Guess the. What was that? Were you gonna do like a drum roll or something? No, I just, I brought, I just can't. Just speak, added can a I? little beat to the thing. Yeah, yes. you know, yeah, I was the... fitting. I was fitting, man. It's just, you know, I'm a rapper, so. But I've mentioned that before. I don't think you are anymore. <laughs> I'm not anymore. I've quit. Was... I'm a podcaster. <laughs> I'm a podcaster. <laughs> Is this this was recording, right, Calux? Yeah, there's literally a record button in the bottom. Yeah, but I didn't know how bright it's meant to be. All right, guys, welcome back to the best podcast We haven't had in the a world. guest in a while, so yeah. uh, we're very nervous. But welcome, Calux. Hey, welcome me. Thanks for having me. That's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> no, worries, thanks it? for coming on, man. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> anytime, anytime. It's, uh, it's funny because obviously we didn't have guests on for a long time because of COVID. And we've just got one now. And then I think like another lockdown's going to hit. So. Yeah, I know. Literally, <laughs> like, any job, day guys. now. Literally any day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can have guests on Discord now. So, we can actually, you know. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fair, you, you know what? Discord works so well. Like, it's actually so, so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> you probably wouldn't get that buzz that you're talking about. Oh, that everyone can oh, hear God, right now. God, please, please. <laughs> cut that bit. <laughs> no, there's no cut. It's just we don't cut stuff really? out. This is the this is oh, unfiltered. This is oh podcast. no! It's don't uncut. tell me that. It's uncut. Um, but yeah, welcome. Thank you. How's life? It's going all right. It's uh, well. It's it's been a it's been a tricky couple months. Yeah. The old shielding thing. Now we're about to go back into something else. Moved yeah. out alone. But we're managing, we're getting on with things and we're trying to work hard towards release number two of... Come on. Not that I want to jump straight into it, but that's what we're, I'm actually working on. We will, we, will, we will talk about that. <laughs> we didn't put his house in, we should have put that in, like moving away. That's all right, do it. Yeah. We'll put that in later. Yeah, what's your address? So <laughs> two... <laughs> well, we always start with a certain section called, as the podcast is called, What's Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, I'm going to list 10 things, one at a time, and you decide whether it's good or not. Okay. So whether you like it, if you don't, the light will turn off. Randolph will turn the light oh, off. Oh, nice. It's not... it, it like dimmed. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like okay. it. Okay. So the first one. You decide. Whether the light goes on or off. Yeah. Okay. And we'll discuss. All right. The first one. Eurovision. The song contest. Yes. Dash that light off. I feel like you want to keep it on, isn't it? No. <laughs> nah, it's dead. It is dead. It but is... I've got a lot of memories of my brother watching it as a kid. But it is dead. It's yeah. so bad. My mum loves it. Yeah. Chat. Sorry, mum. If you're watching this, but I know she's um, a big fan. She, she, she might be, actually. She what, anyway. Um, uh, just like it's a bit of a meme, and I think that people should take it more seriously, mm, or they okay. should dash dash like KSI on there, and then we just win it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, the thing is, do you think we would though? Because yes. ultimately, it's a, political, on, we would it's a political competition. True. Actually, the fans even vote. Actually, people from the other countries vote. So that's what I mean. Oh, he is he is global now. Is global. So, yeah, but but I, don't think, but I thought celebrities weren't allowed on it for that reason. You have to be no one, don't you? You have to be like an up and comer. No, is that right? What? Hasn't so. there been? Yeah, there's been some big people on there. Are you sure they weren't big after the debut on it? I think they were big before. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they were big like <laughs> time. All oh, right. I don't know enough about it. I don't know. Enough yeah, about it, it. it's dead. Though. That's why we're just, in, the only bit, the only good thing about it is um, Graham Norton, the commentary. That's the commentary. The best I didn't even it. know that he commentated. That's oh, right. how long it's been since I watched it. Well, maybe he doesn't even comment it anymore. Yeah, maybe it was when 10 was the years last ago. Time you watched? Five years ago, maybe. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. strictly, yeah, no, strictly off though. Yeah, dash the light off. Yeah. Okay. Number two, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, yeah, legend. Legend, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, watched, um, I watched the Facebook uh, movie the other day and he's, he's oh. in that, right? Or the Facebook one. Yeah, the, oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Social Dilemma. Yeah. Is no, 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 that's social, the fucking Social network. network. Social network. <laughs> Spoilers. Sorry, oh I watched, that. I watched oh it the other day. I watched it the other day. Yeah. I thought you were going to say In Time. It's another good film. Also the one where he just keeps banging Mila Kunis. Friends of Benefit. It's <gasps> oh, a good film yeah. as well. Big film. Big it's film. a very good film. Yeah. So he made banging music, went on to be an actor, banging movies. <laughs> made yeah. GG. Did yeah. you see that? Uh, he actually got... Um, sorry, Justin, if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> he got caught out Big with an, another girl, you know. So they were filming, you see that, they were filming uh, a movie and he's just like holding hands with her and like, just, like she like sat on his knee um, and someone caught it on camera. And he has a wife? Yeah. Well, Jessica Biel, right? Really? Yeah. You know, the girl out of Sinner. Yeah. Yes. And, she, and then she just obviously went went viral. Everyone saw it. It wasn't, it wasn't like on the film either. It wasn't like they were acting. It was like off camera, like everyone's drinking, having just like fun time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that is a little yeah, bit they did like a, a statement and everything as well. I think that's more common than not, really, isn't it? These yeah. days. Yeah. People get I mean, caught. I'd sleep with him, so I don't blame her. Yeah. Same I don't blame Yeah. Same. 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 I, don't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Justin, I didn't mean to like <laughs> hear that out. But... I didn't mean to turn this into a gossip uh, podcast. If you anyway. come on, we'll, we'll bring you on. I mean... All right, number three. Rainy days. 
So like, you know, where it's, you know, where it's raining outside a lot and you, you kind of stay inside all day. Oh, oh, that part's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually mind them. I think no. keep the light on or like dim it a like, tiny bit. Right. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is that a new thing? I've never done that. Yeah. switch up. Because I think, I think the, the light would stay on for sure if we weren't like living in England. That's the, the only yes. downside. Yeah, we have yeah, it. yeah. That's just a regular We've learned to us. deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. But you're saying, no, you're saying if it was another country, you'd keep it on. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm saying that obviously if, oh, if you're in Florida yeah. and you're like, oh, gosh, I want a bit of rain now. Come on. You get a bit of rain. Oh, oh I'm, yeah, you're saying maybe the opposite. Oh, no. It's all right. It's dimmed. We can, yeah, we okay, can agree yeah. to disagree. Agree to disagree, but but yeah, I think we've definitely like learned to deal with it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What was that? Number, that was number three, isn't it? Yeah, three. All right, number four. Slushies from the cinema. Too many e numbers. No, there's not. My oh. mum, my mum taught me too many e numbers. You, you go to the cinema and you don't have a slushy. I don't have a slushy. Do you know though the what, what are they called? Ice blast. Ice yeah. blast. Yeah, they used to be slush puppies, isn't it? They have no sugar in them. Do you know that? What do they have in them then? Well, some sort of other preservative, but it's not sugar. <laughs> so everything else, <laughs> wait, so they can put like no sugar on it, but it's got like a thousand E numbers. Yeah. Isn't that Fair like enough. Coke Zero though? Yeah. Coke Zero has zero sugar. It's like all they did was replace it with other things. Yeah, but it's not sugar it though. It does taste like it doesn't have sugar in it though. No, it does not. <laughs> Coke Zero is <laughs> no, the deadest. Well, I, mean, I, don't, dead, I, I don't have it on the list, but Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Coke Zero, like going on. It's, why would you wait, drink the fat one? Okay, the, so the, what do you order? If you were getting a Coke... Coke diet. Yeah, Coke you're going to expose me now, all right? You're, you're clever, innit? Trying out, to big brain me. Out of those three, what do you have? Uh, Coke. Oh, no wonder you went to dentist. What? <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> um, I have Diet Coke or it's Coke Zero, preferably. I have a, I have a Diet Coke. God, we're all different. Just, they just. Dead thing. No, but you, know, you get. On, on the, the, the regular full sugar one, you get like the sugar on your teeth. That's and why everything. you brush your teeth. Well, you not, I don't want to brush my teeth every single day. You don't brush your day. teeth? Yeah, I do. Every sip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to drink all of these things with straws anyway, right? Are you? To miss all of your front teeth, go straight down your throat. Paper straws. Paper you know straws. what though? <laughs> I feel like Coke just is really bad through straws unless it's like McDonald's. So what I've noticed no, recently yeah. is that if you have a paper Coke with... A paper, <laughs> <laughs> a paper straw with a can of Coke as you suck up it fizzes, it fizzes and like creates bubbles. Really bad. Whoever, if you're watching this right now and you're, you're into that or whoever's making these paper straws, you need to add some chemicals to the straws. Yeah. I feel really weird drinking out of a can, can. of a straw. Yeah. Actually, no, I do that with red bulls. Someone made me do it the other day. Uh, it's just too fizzy out. <laughs> How did they make you do <laughs> it? They were like, have this. Like, it's, you're not supposed to, it's not supposed to touch the front of your teeth. Uh, have this. Yeah. Okay. It just, Cans fizz anyway, don't they? More than usual. Yeah. So, like adding a straw to it must be. You're just, you're just tasting foam at that point. Yeah, it was disgusting. You, you tap the top of a can. No, nah, nah, it's, it's waffle. It's, it's waffle. You used to yeah. the side, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what? That? Nah, it's just waffle. Oh. Pure no, waffle. So it was like they proved that if you tap it on the top, nothing happens. But you tap it on the sides around it, and it makes, then it gets rid of the fizz. Yeah, I think it makes all the air go to the top or something like that. I think we're gonna uh, give you a yellow card because that definitely was linked in the chat on TikTok. What was that? That. Yeah. There's the fact count. of tapping it around. I think I watched it, but then I just clicked off because I think it's bullshit. Wait, he's a scientist, clearly. So am I. <laughs> it's on TikTok. It so am I. I've, sent, I've sent a balloon to space. You have? I've I've stayed in the world's quietest room. You, you have. That, you actually have. That Very viral yeah. video. That. Big yeah. scientist on. Yeah, yeah. How many views that on now? Well, the one on TikTok. I was going to say, not, oh, as many, yeah. <laughs> not as many. 45 as million <laughs> views. <laughs> anyway. Okay, number five. Adam Sandler films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave him on. Yeah, leave I know on. it's very controversial. Everyone hates him for some reason. Why? But they're so That's good. That's why I said it. He was in... Um, when you look online, everyone hates him. Yeah, they hate him. But it's like... The old ones are the better though. Like, like, like Happy Gilmore, Waterboy. What's Big Daddy? Big Daddy. Um, What's the new Billy one? Billy Madison. The new one. Grown Ups 2? Oh, no. no. The uh, I've, I've Uncut Gems. It. Uncut Gems. Yeah, yeah. Uncut Gems. Great in that. Go. Yeah. Really good film. That? <gasps> um, Is that the drug one? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, the yeah. diamond... The jewel Diamonds ones. and yeah. jewels and money. Oh. And... But I wouldn't count that as a Adam Sandler film though. That's like a film that he's in, but it's not his classic like But slapstick. he is, he's like, he's like, he is the character and you've seen it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, it's all around him yeah. and his character. So he's yeah, the main it's character. not. Huh? Is he the main yeah. character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 but it's, it's like. It's so good. But it's not his typical character that no. you're thinking yeah. of. Like... It just proves to people that he can act and he actually like, is really good at what he does. He just, with the films he creates, he just creates a, write a certain chooses to write a certain comedy level yeah. but it's great man like it's just funny isn't it like grown ups and so all it's like you don't watch it thinking like this is gonna win an Oscar you just watch it thinking 
Exactly. People are hate people hate on these too much. Yeah. They need to chill out. Yeah. And he, makes, <laughs> and he makes a lot of money as well. I mean, every film he gets just banks. Really? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. He, like, he owns a studio as well, so he just messes he around. He has his mates in it as well. Yeah, yeah. The two mates. Kevin They're James has got like the uh what's the guy in you know the guy who's in Waterboy that's like, You can do it. <laughs> yeah, I love but, him, yeah. See, I watched this film so long ago that they've just vanished from my memory. Jackass. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, there's one guy who has like a crazy eye in most of the films. Does he do was he in the holes? I don't Is that someone else? That's Shia LaBeouf. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's the Moving one on. as well where it, 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 in Waterboy, he's like, he's in the crowd. He's like, yeah, cut his fucking head off. <laughs> yeah. Bro, we should have And then everyone looks at him and goes, what? And he goes, I mean, <laughs> you can do it. And yeah. everyone's like, yeah. We should have like a movie night where we just watch Adam Sandler no. films. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. It's been too long. <laughs> All right. Number six. Yeah. Dobby from Harry Potter. Oh, he's all right. Leave him. <gasps> For anyone listening that's not watching, Randolph just turned the light off without saying anything. Gollum's better. Leave him alone. Like, damn. Give me a fist bump, bro. He's cute. He's nice. He's not cute. He looks like a shaven ball sack. He does. Look, me and him look similar. <laughs> you don't look like Dobby. You don't look like Dobby. You don't. You don't. I know. I just wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to back him up and throw myself under the bus. I just, what's the point of him in that film? Oh. Just to be someone like Harry Potter. It's, you know what the reason is, right? It's, it's the only reason that film is so Harry Potter can like What's the word called where he can express himself without talking to himself? They do that, right? In films, they put characters in just so the main character can talk. Oh, do they? Yeah, so obviously he's locked in a cupboard, right? Uh, How do we know okay. what he's thinking? Let's put a little creature there. Yeah, because he wouldn't just randomly go like, oh, so it's like so semi. Sad. Yeah, I hate oh, my wow. life. My cousin's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah. But to a character. Okay, clever. I didn't they know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I'm a writer, so, you know. You are a writer. Music, music, music and also film, it just doesn't matter to music. me. Yeah, how's the latest <laughs> or can we talk about the latest short film that you're writing at, on yeah. the podcast or? yeah 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 okay how's it going uh, I've not started it yet <laughs> but we'll, 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 I'll start it after this podcast it sounds like I have no idea what you're talking about oh, no, he's, he, he's just made it up <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay it was believable though almost yeah, made yeah. me believe it <laughs> That's That's I, like, with it. I thought you were trolling and then you went along with it and I was like yeah. wait you two have actually spoken about this <laughs> <laughs> no no short film okay um, but yeah I agree with you it's, yeah, it's just a bad Smeagol. Yeah, Gollum. Have you watched Lord of the Rings? Yeah, uh, no. <gasps> what? I know I have, but I didn't like it, so I didn't watch the rest of them. JJ's never watched it, you know. <sighs> I think it's dead. Tali. I think it's dead. We should have a session watching it. it it's really good, man. Why? They won't. Dead? They won't watch it. They, like... I, I'm just not a fan, really. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> As the lights just gone. <laughs> I'm just not really a fan. He loves that he's not a fan as well, doesn't he? He'll turn on in a sec. Yeah, the light's gone off for everyone listening. <laughs> there you go. That was a good time. It's great, man. It's the trilogy, obviously The Hobbit as well. You don't watch Game of Thrones, do you? Nah. Good. So it's all that, that majestic, magical, majesty. Majesty. <laughs> majestic, magical, majesty that I don't like. I'm not into that. you got to keep it real like Harry Potter. I felt like you tried to what? say medieval the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was, on the, I was on the medieval fire. But everyone always makes you laugh when you sip a drink, isn't it? Like... Huh? If you take a sip of a drink and then everyone always makes you laugh then. You almost blew out your mic. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, number eight? Yeah. I don't know. This might be number seven. Personality tests. Bangers. Oh, yeah. Did you put it in just purely for looks? Because he loves them, didn't he? Yeah. He was linking the really yes. like technical <laughs> ones. Yes. I, we, we talked about this in that late night Discord call, the quiz, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. That just stopped. <laughs> that was really good, you know. That was a good it night. Just, just stopped. I don't think I was oh, there, the quiz. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. people just I think I joined late. Maybe. Oh, yeah, you did. You should, yeah. yeah, you joined late with that one. You still did the quiz, though. No, sorry. You did the personality test. You did didn't I? do the quiz. Yeah. That's why we were all filling it out. What was the art? Like, what was the. It was Josh was in there. Wasn't it? I, was say, I felt Joshua. like I was streaming and then I saw you guys were in there, so I came in. Ah, okay. There you go. And I think yeah. I missed that. Yes, keep the light. Are you about to. You, you, yeah, I'll leave them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah on. I mean. So you believe that if you answer a test online, it will actually tell you about your personality? Yeah. Close enough, I think. Yeah. But I think that there's there's a spectrum. I can waffle about this, but there's a. No, go for it. Go for there's, it. A, there's a spectrum in that, like, say they say that there's 16 personality types. I think that you can slide. So you can't. Yeah. You, you're not going to be a hundred percent of one, but it's where you are in the middle that makes us all individual. True. And I think oh, that that was deep. That was I, th deep. I think Hella that um, I think that they're legit. I think that you will sit in that in that category. But yeah, that one we did. Was you legit. can also change. Oh, because I have. Oh, oh. But within that. the same area, but I became more introverted. Damn, because I became more introverted yeah, over the lockdown. 
No, it was before lockdown. So oh. I'm probably fucking like <laughs> way off the scale now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I'm keep it on. And this is, uh, we're talking about the hat, like the really like in depth. Yeah. Not like yeah, a not, Facebook, ha- yeah. like which Harry Potter yeah. character are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, wait, bro, the ones I do. <laughs> that's the ones I do in my videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Like, maybe I am. No, there's, <laughs> that, there's that one banger. I, I don't know what it's called, but it's the, I think it's like 16 personality types.com or something like that. Uh, okay. It's the one that's like, choose four cakes and we'll tell you if you're introverted. That one. <laughs> it's I'm, like, if you're in no, a room, would you, to say. if you walk into your bedroom, do you close your door or keep it open? I do a mix. I, I leave it open until Laura but it's what your to close gut, it. It's what your gut tells you. Oh, so you're like, you leave it open. open. You're like, it's a mix. But what comes to mind first? Probably leave it open. There you go. I'd close that fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're an introvert. Okay. Um, I think number eight, audio books. Now I rate, I rate them, yeah. On. Yeah, leave it on. I'm just not very good at listening to them. I get too distracted by what's around me. Yeah. When was the last time you listened to one? I don't know. Like two weeks ago. Probably like I've got about 3,000 Audible credits that I just keep downloading yeah, yeah. books <laughs> with when it sends me an email and then never listen to them. I wonder how many people do that, you know. I'm just collecting a collection of <laughs> so audio why, books. Why do you rate them that much if you don't listen to them? Because this is, here, here's what I'm going to say, right? I love books, but I don't have time to read them. I would love, I would love to read books, so I opt for audio books, but then I also don't have time or the attention span to listen to that either. So... You go. Do you know what's good about the audio uh, compared to like reading though? Yeah. Is that in audio, you can click like 1.25 speed or 1.5 speed and you you think oh. it's spe- they're speaking like mad fuck they are, but you can understand <laughs> it. Goes Your brain understands it, which is mad. Yeah. Because oh. they like talking like this and then you didn't read them. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Someone's probably listening to this podcast now on time. Look, if you, need me, if you need me to come do a voiceover on 1.25 <laughs> speed, let me know. Got you. It's like when you do a song as well, you know, and the comments are always like, this sounds so much better on 1.5. I'm like, oh, well, that's the biggest dish. <laughs> I'm like, also, who doesn't know? But do you, you prefer books to yeah. audio books? Well, yeah. And you prefer TV shows to books? I think they're different. I wouldn't compare those two things. But if you watch TV shows, you don't yeah, read books. Yeah, because I'm lazy. But you said you don't have time to read books. You watch TV shows. No, I actually don't recently though. You don't watch? No. You don't watch anything? No. Bro, I don't. I, w- I wake up, do my thumbnail. I, I can vouch for this. Yeah, I don't. I, w- I watched The Social Dilemma because we were specifically going to talk about it. <laughs> and I watched Simon Sunday when I, ca- when I can. Mm, it just sounds kind of sad. I'm so- yeah, my <laughs> yeah, life's sad. Right? You know what though? I've t- I've t- personally, I'm, I'm on that same wavelength. And the reason why I don't remember these films is because I haven't watched them since I was younger. So you talk mm. about, I have no idea what you're talking about. And that's across the board. So I don't yeah. know. Do you actors, watch anything now? Actresses. So now I've started watching stuff. Okay. But series, I'm just getting, I'm, I'm finding it hard to get into them. I need to watch these one hour documentaries. I could watch yeah. the David Attenborough thing, Social Dilemma, yeah. so on. Okay. I, I do, like in the past, I've watched a lot of TV shows and I love them because it's very easy and you just sit there and like vegetate and just, it just comes back on again. Whereas books, you have to like focus on it. Yeah. And I, I think it's healthy to read books, definitely. But I think it's like meditation and I yeah. think it's really good for you to, to, to read. Bro. Like I know it is. Do you meditate? I tried it. I can't, I can't get into headspace. it. Yeah. That's basically that was yeah. the app. I did it for one day Lord and I was like, that. I should carry on this and didn't do it again. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. Building a routine within it. But yeah. I think it is really good. I think with a lot of those things, like the self-help type things, it's not necessarily what they're saying. It's it's the routine that helps. Yeah. Just tricking you to do a routine. So no matter what it is, as long as you do it for like every day, you know, across like three, four weeks or whatever, you're just gonna that's build what it is, a routine. Isn't it? Three weeks to make it routine. Yeah. Yeah, twenty eight days think, to think, build a habit or something like that. Yeah. But I've I've done I've Stick to 28 days, 30 days, 40 days. Look on. And then you just what, I yeah. get out of it. One yeah. day. It's like uploading, isn't it? And yeah. one, day, one day you stop and it's gone. Yeah. But I, I remember when I went on my honeymoon with Laura, obviously nothing to do there. Like I, I took like three or four books and just read them all. And it was so good. Like I learned so much. Like the four hour work week and all this other like, these like finance books and just like business books. It was sick, man. That's that's what, those are all the books that sit like on my coffee yeah. table. Yeah. Like uh, Why We Sleep as well and, and so on. All these books sit there and I'm like, <laughs> bro, I just choose like, you know, some made up story about nothing. <laughs> this is what we should do. We should, We're now yeah. all like too, I don't know, addicted. in our heads and addicted to getting better and like self-improvement and like numbers. Oh, damn. And so deep on. already. We were going there. We were, yeah, we were, we're headed there later on. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Unleash me. We're going through the topics then there'll be like an absolute like orgasm of... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I, can't, I don't know now. I got so like caught up about me saying the word orgasm. I've got my point. <laughs> and now I've just said orgasm three times. <laughs> That'll be an orgasm. Yeah. Of... <laughs> Okay, number nine. <laughs> number nine. Number yeah, nine. Yeah, continue. Christmas decorations. Yeah, whack them up, man. Come on, of course. Yeah, they're all right. Oh. Oh, it just makes you I'm feel a... of home, right? Feel like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you really want to like... No, 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 we're good, we're good, you we're good. Turn no, 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 we're good. No, 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 leave the light on and just move on. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some demons. <laughs> Have you? I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand them that much. What do you mean? Like I do them, uh, but I'm making a video most likely. Yeah, true, true. So I mean, you're vi- you're not excited when you make your video, Simon. No, I Whoa! am. <laughs> what? I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> but like, ultimately, if I wasn't making a video, I wouldn't go through a lot of effort to put them up. Oh no, yeah, I wouldn't do them. But like, I appreciate when Laura or my mum my does them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they weren't done, I'd be like, what the fuck's going on, mum? Like, where's the, where's the Christmas tree, mum? So if they didn't go up, you would be like, oh, what the hell? Yeah. Human. What's this all about, mum? It's Christmas. But not just, I'm not talking like a Christmas tree with some lights on. I'm talking like Christmas decorations. Yeah. Like, like a bit of like, you know, uh, paper rings going like across the. Yeah. yeah I love if that. they weren't up, you'd be like, what the hell? Yeah. Especially for Christmas. Like, like, this doesn't feel like Christmas. It feels like just another day. Mad. Yeah. Are you, on, are you on the same wavelength for me as like that? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I appreciate them and I appreciate people that appreciate them. Thank you. But if they're not there, I don't care. No, yeah. Right. Right. I'm very adamant about this. Like when, like, I just enjoy my childhood a lot, you know, like being with family. So like when it's not, it's not exactly how it used to be. So know. why do you need like a, something, a piece of paper hanging down from the ceiling to appreciate your family? Because, oh shit, yeah, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it in regard as Memories. Do, yeah, nostalgia. Memories, nostalgia. Okay. Well, the final one, oh. I chose this just because a few of our group have taken up it, it recently. Oh, I know what it is. Golf. Dead. What? Dead. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. You, you were pre-answering it. I thought, yeah, you, I thought yeah. you thought the actual one was going to be dead. I'm like, <laughs> who's that? A few of our group have taken <laughs> up <laughs> dead. <laughs> no, like, you know what? Top golf, amazing, but uh, proper golf, I don't think is for me. Oh, you know what? No, I'm slewing it too much. It's, it is. It looks fun. Uh, just needs to put a lot of time into it and haven't done it. Yeah. So I'm being bitter. I love it, man. Like, I love it. I really enjoy it. Before I moved to London, me and my dad used to go every week. Um, Pitch and putt. It, yeah, like, it was a better than, yeah, it was a bit more. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. A bit more in depth than pitch and putt, but. Oh, right. Well, just yeah. slew me then. It's, right. it's, it's, it's a par three. <laughs> See, I'm, the, I'm, never, I'm never one for going for like the, the bigger courses. I always stick to the par three. If I can hit it to the green with like a seven iron, I'm happy. I can't, I can't. So, pitch oh, wow. And put, you know your things. Pitch and putt, but a bit better than that, Simon. Well, I mean, if you're hitting it to the green every time. No, With a seven iron, it's probably a pitch and putt. I mean, sometimes it goes short. So I wouldn't say it's definitely a pitch and putt. <laughs> <laughs> Top golf. Top golf is a banging. Top golf is really fun. Popper. Yeah, yeah, Real yeah. popper. See, I'm not going to lie. I actually like golf. Like, yeah, I, but... I actually like playing and I like watching it. Watching it is so good. It's so good. But the thing is, there's such a big skill gap in it. Mm. That yeah, I can't yeah. enjoy playing it unless I'm playing with people my level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's if why I go... top golf's fun, isn't it? Because yeah. it doesn't Top-golf, matter how good isn't. someone's... Yeah. You get points. Get as lucky. Well. Points make it good. And the people that hit it like shorter into the beginning holes win anyway, yeah, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> we're all whacking it like <laughs> woo! Yeah, yeah, we're all whacking it like really far. When, when, we go, when we go top golf. Why are you trying to get we, we, we did it in Vegas, bro. What? Yeah, we were, no, I know. We were including you, but then we were, you yeah, just we were, tried to like yeah. fully include Oh no, no, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, was, I was whacking down to the I was I was hitting I the I thought you were saying you weren't whacking it down. I don't know, I was. I was hitting the the, the, fur, the, the furthest it goes. We're a bunch of whackers then, innit? The way you're talking is like you miss the ball every time. No, no, no. I hit it really far, man. Listen to you. Listen. All right, question 11. <laughs> There's no... No, I, I, I'm not really good. I, I can't hit it far, but I can hit it straight. That's what I'm good at. I'm going to hit like the blue. But I can't, hit, I can't hit drivers. That's why, man. I can't why? hit drivers. Oh, I so said that is... I can't if hit I hit it with a driver, mate, it that's, swerves. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's right. the fun of it. Because then that one time when you get it right... True. Boosters. True. I need to learn, once I learn drivers, I'll be able to go on the big boy courses and I'll enjoy the game a lot more. Because, you know, chipping, pitching and putting, I'm good at that. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But then I did um I did a golf video with Josh, Seb, uh, Seb and oh, no. Peter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, like Josh was like, oh, Simon's actually quite good at, you know, like, oh, the long shots. Up. He was like, he was like, he's not good at putting, but he's good at long shots. I did a few putts and I was banging them in and they will vouch me. I hit like three 25 meter putts. Like ridiculous. Wow. Not 25 meter, 25 foot. Putts. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, honestly, so, yeah, honestly, really they will all say it like genuinely from here to the other it's side. On the video, the... It's on video. No. Oh. 
Well, well but they, they will all back me up. Then. They will all back me up. All one right. of them was on camera, but I don't know where the footage has gone. Was it okay. like a straight put or was it like a bit of a... No, genuine wow. dips. Like, and then as soon as the camera came on, I was I actually did well in that. But then as soon as I had to do like a normal like par yeah. three, scuffed about six shots in a row. Always the way in it, like camera yeah. versus off camera. We should camera. have a little... We should have... It sounds like... We well, yeah, but the I shot on it at the up, beginning. The I'll take it back. The others are golf like properly. And then we might have to catch up though. That's the thing, you know. But I don't want to catch up. I don't either. Let's just go pitch and putt. Yeah. Or whatever you part go three, that's between. Three. Part three. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Where yeah. does that exist? No, no, I'm just saying like, it is a pitch and putt, but it's a bit better. Like, I'm not a loser for playing it. <laughs> is, is pitch and putt kind of frowned upon? No, nah, but it's... Uh, pitch I mean, and like, more f- if you went to Freezy, like, let's go pitch and putt, and probably like, oh, no, nah, come on, let's go. Yeah, hit me one. with a golf club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, to be fair, I was, the other day I was like, yo, I'll come with you. It's like, bro, like, people behind us get a bit angry. <laughs> Like apparently in the UK they're a bit feisty if you like take slow. So yeah, but that's slow. why I don't like. That's another thing because I'm terrible, so I don't like playing. Unless we all go and we just all book out like two a session behind us as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. You know, it's right before like, lunch <coughs> and then we all miss lunch yeah. and just go home. <laughs> yeah. We back. That's it. Perfect. We should, we should go. Or rent, sick. Yeah, they're all side men. Now. Come on, just rent out the whole thing. Or <laughs> ne- ne- next holiday we just go like golf resort. That'd be sick. It would be sick, but we'd get shat on, bro. These these guys yeah, we, oh, around like, us, you mean like freezy in that? yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, <laughs> Ethan not, now, Harry, Reeve, yeah. That's what I mean. I can't bother to play with them. Like, yeah, I don't, they, can, I don't they can go. They can go, they can go ahead of us. Should we book a, we book a golf day soon? Yeah, just like it. anyone who doesn't play golf will go play golf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. have like a stinky yeah. day. True. Just, Simon, go, and then go driving range. And <laughs> get, get my get my driver ready. Once my driver game's good, I think I'll be all right. Let's go. Let's go top golf first, then. Yeah, let's yeah. Get your driver game up. Well, I can teach you a do little. Do you want to go top golf or do you want to go like um, no. a driving range that has the technology? So it's not a game, but it does help you get better. No, I want to beat you. All right, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like whenever we go top golf, it just starts with like You're there, no like, shot the driver and Callum's <laughs> next... just like chipping it into the near one. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've won again. Yeah. No, but it's like start off normal, then like you and Josh were like throwing it, bouncing yeah, it, yeah. And hitting it. I'm like, it's not golf anymore. <laughs> I know, but that's like right at the end when people are like hella bored. Yeah, you start taking other people's goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I had like 20 goes in a row. It's because we normally go there for about three hours. Yeah. And I don't think you're meant to play top golf for three hours. It's the same with bowling though. You know, when you get to the end of the bowling, everyone's like, I want to continue a little bit more. So you start the next game, like like three rounds into the next game, you realize I didn't want to start another round. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's probably a gap in the market then for like people that play one and a half games. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should just extend things like bowling. (laughs) We should make a one and a half game. 13 frames. Yeah. 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 Wow. you You call it a frame, bro. Yeah, man. Is that what it is? You lot know too much about sport, you know. Well, I was a professional bowler when I was younger. Oh, right. Damn. Of course I wasn't. <laughs> I, I believe that. You are a, you are as much of a loser to have been a professional wow. bowler. When... <laughs> you know, in America, they actually all are banging at bowling. Oh. Like they have proper bowling clubs and stuff. I, <laughs> I actually carried on. <laughs> no, no, I, didn't, the I, didn't, I didn't for the meme that that's gone off. Go on, sorry, what? You know, like everyone in America, they have bowling clubs at school and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they wear the things, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. But you know, like you're gassed if you get like over 100 hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all like, "Oh yeah, I got like one ninety or something." And yeah, they're like, that was alright. What's that, the top? What's the top? Three hundred one. Where does the one come from? No, that's darts, mate. One. Yeah, that's five hundred one. <laughs> no, what is it? Three hundred. It's like if they don't get a strike every single round, they're pissed. Bro, so these good. guys, man. Well, it's just America. Right? Have you seen the Nelk video where they um they go to a bowling alley, three hundred, and they bowl on people's lanes? No, but I've seen the golf one that they did recently yeah, where yeah, they just pick thing. up other people's balls. But in the bowling one, they got so mad. Like really? he, he literally, it, the prank was like, he did two. He managed to get two before they like literally chased him out of the place. Because they, the they're all fuck? pros, aren't they? They're all pros. So he's there like just getting like a spare. I think he actually got a strike though. I think each bowling got a strike. <laughs> uh, and then they're like ch- chasing him out. It's so funny. And then he gets it like smashed on the floor. I bit. love those Don. That's just funny, aren't they? They kill it. Yeah. At first really when I started watching them. Hmm? They're really good at golf. Yeah. I see that they keep playing. Uh, they play with like Mike and Mike Majlak. Like Nade and that. Do they? Yeah. And they, they put like $10,000 on the line. Jeez. Fair enough. Yeah. All I see is the med- I just see them trolling. Yeah. They're sick of hockey. They're Canadian, aren't they, as well? Yeah, so when they uh, do yeah, hockey clips, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I, feel, I always feel like hockey's a different one. And it's really used to like, I'm, I'm, if someone's good at basketball or football or whatever, I'm not like shocked. But then yep. someone to be good at hockey, I'm like, whoa. And yeah. it's like, ice, it's ice hockey, right? Yeah. yeah so it's. This, that's a whole different skill. These yep. guys are so good at ice skating. And I've that's like a been. skill on its own. Never been. Ice skating? Yeah. yeah. That's not true. That's no, a I've lie. Never, I've never been ice skating. That's, that is a lie. It's not. Are you being serious? Yeah. You need a new podcast member, brother. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Why? You've that's never real. been ice skating. I've never been ice skating. I've been on the ice when we did the Sidemen uh, like ice Olympics oh, yeah, or whatever,
That's insane. I've never been, no, I've never Why? Been. Do you not want to? I don't understand like how you could enjoy it. You're literally going on a slippy surface with knives on your feet. No, it, when, when you glide, it feels great. Yeah, I can't. I skate. I've been about probably like ten times in my life. Okay, doesn't work. Doesn't compute in my brain. <laughs> yeah. So I had never fully enjoyed it. But I've had periods. Mad five seconds. Mad. <laughs> Mad five period. second periods. <laughs> okay, where oh, it's worked and yeah. I've been like, oh, and you follow orgasm. Well, yeah. That's what you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. I just like wear socks on a wooden floor. I'm not the same. Not the Don't same. skid for as long. Yeah, it really. You just put olive oil down on your wooden floor. <laughs> okay, so do that. <laughs> I went to the one in New York where you get you get a um penguin. Yeah, you get what? What? A penguin. To hold on to. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah. yeah, you hold something and then like, you know like you know. <laughs> Is it, it called a penguin or did you just go on it and it was Look, like, they're normally <laughs> penguins. <laughs> Nine times out of ten they're penguins. Okay. Just hold a penguin's arm and it's just like gliding you around the skate. Course. That would be f- Fire. It'll be so That's so sick. What were you talking about? Oh, it's like, it's like a frame. You know, bowling, you got the thing that you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like one of them type of things where you hold it and you can skate so you don't fall over. So it's like a skating Zimmer frame. Yes. Yes. It exactly. Actually, it actually exactly like that. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's. Okay. Well, yeah, well what's yeah, perception? I have, no, I have no plans to go ice skating. You should, man. Soon. We'll not go. Quite you can hold my like, hand. You know, it's more Does Harley to... not want to go? I don't know. The thing is, in my mind, I assume that Talia is probably like amazing at it. She's probably got like, she probably went, did it as a kid and got like badges in it and stuff. So I feel like when you go, she'll be insane and it'll make it worse for you. I don't think she did. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just, you know. I just, I think it. She's definitely been. I don't know if she's yeah. really good or not. We shouldn't do gymnastics, right? Yeah. And I feel like people who do gymnastics are just good at all that type of stuff. I've rollerbladed when I was younger. Does that count? Well, then you bit, yeah. ice skate. Yeah. I, What's I mean, the difference, brother? Did you rollerblade no, or skate? on your feet. But the, ni- the knives aren't at your throat. Yeah, Would you drive you. a car with wheel uh, with wheels made of knives? No, but I'd drive a car on ice for fun. <laughs> 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 okay, well, that was the what's good section. Um, let's move on to more Calyx themed things. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is in. I- <laughs> 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 so as you spoke about with Jack mate uh, oh, no, I'm kidding I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, no, cool. it's coming later I've got, actually... a, I've got a I've got a good history in podcast clips yes okay. have yes. you know so if these don't all do a million views then... this will do a million views oh I doubt it or... you haven't seen our channel <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I think so. do a million the only, views. I think the only clip to hit a million views on our channel was why is Spencer and, F- and Jeremy from the F2V thing <laughs> just make up some shit about me then is that the only one because we, the podcast started the whole JJ and Quadeca beef. True. Oh, wow. True. Yeah, because JJ literally came on the podcast and went, yeah, Quadeca's trash. <laughs> and me and, me and Randolph were sitting there like, no, he's not. He's all right. Like, I said to him the night before, I was like, can you call, I was like, call Quadeca trash on the podcast. <laughs> or call someone trash. <laughs> you said that to him. <laughs> we were talking, we were like, it'd be good, wouldn't it, if we did like a... We said we were going to talk about YouTube rappers and stuff. And, mm-hmm. yeah. and we were like, yeah, we need to like, not just say, oh, they're all right. You know, they're doing their yeah. thing. We got, you got to be, you know... You got to start with all their bats. All right, cool. Yeah, but obviously, it's like whoever he calls out will do really well off it. So we had like, all right, someone we really enjoyed. Jake Paul. <laughs> no, you got to choose someone we like. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, because oh, like you both gain. Because they're going to gain. Like, all right, okay. Kudeka and like now, sick. All right. Should we uh, do the top, I think. the top five videos on the podcast channel? This I mean, one on your channel right now? Yeah. Right. On, then. Why are Spencer and Jeremy from the FTV beefing? Number one with a million views. Okay. Number two, KSI hates Talia Mar. <laughs> 893k. Yes. <laughs> Logan Paul wants minimum to on his podcast. Gang gang. 880. Because okay. he did say that, to be fair. Yeah, he did say that. Why Deji really left the Simon house? Ooh. 750k. And then what really happened on the Sidemen trip to Ibiza? Damn. These are what really happened things. Yeah, yeah I was well. Yeah. All right. All right. Shit, I'm supposed to post my video. Fuck. What? I forgot to do it before it started. Oh my god! Go. <laughs> We're a very professional podcast here. Um, <laughs> you don't cut at all. No, 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 no not really. No, we continue. Yeah, well, I've had to do this before. He's gone to the toilet before. Yeah, and I've sat on my own. I, I called the supply once, isn't it? I had to interview store. myself. Fair I was enough. just like, oh yeah. So the re- I just waffled for ten minutes. Yeah. Luckily, I've got you now. So yeah, yeah. No well, worries. Gonna, go on, hit me. Talk about no two ways. No two ways. Yeah. And uh, I mean, while he's doing this, yeah. Why did you start no two ways? And why is it called No Two Ways? Been a huge fan of shoes for a long time now. Collected, uh, been a fan of or followed designers that I loved on Instagram. And then one day I was just like, you know what? I'm going to make some. 
But it's that classic Calyx thing, right? It's that, <laughs> let me pick something really, really hard to do, yeah. spend a long time on it, do nothing else while I'm doing it, <laughs> <laughs> kill my YouTube channel a little bit more than it already <laughs> is, and then come out with something great. Well, I hope I hope that people think it's yeah, great. Yeah. I mean, like we've, obviously we do the sidemen clothing stuff and I mean, I don't really do much to do with the designing and stuff, but we never bothered going for shoes because it's hard. As it's hell. tough, yeah. yeah. And I, f- I didn't know at the start, but then as you go through every single problem, then matched with coronavirus, then yeah. then the next problem, then coronavirus again and posting and shipping, it just becomes a madness. Yeah. We picked I mean, the wrong year. Well, like a t-shirt is, you know, the worst you're going to have is you wash it and the print comes off. Mm-hmm. That's about it. A shoe... You're, you're fall off. smacking it against the floor every three seconds. Did you see what <laughs> Logan said in his podcast about it? I didn't. It's like shoes are the hardest to make. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They, you know they fall apart. I can't. <laughs> they, they, fall a, they fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they. How do you say apart? They fall apart. 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 They, they fall apart. They fall apart. Anyway, he was, <laughs> he was he's saying all that, and uh, yeah, completely agree. Still waiting for it to happen, but hopefully it doesn't. But it might. But I mean, I've worn mine a lot and they haven't fallen apart. So yeah, same. I've, I've been really enjoying wearing thank mine. Thank you. Yep. So good. Okay, yep. so let's have this beef. Let's go. Yeah, where are my shoes? What Calyx? really happened between Randy and Calyx? Yeah, where, where are my shoes? <laughs> uh, can, wait, can I say the real reason? Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's part. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you, you asked me not to send them to you directly. Yeah. Because uh, it was Laura's birthday. Yeah. And I didn't. And I said I'd bring them here. Yeah. And I haven't today. To, to be fair, we haven't here. really been together at the place much. No. But then obviously we did do a podcast well, right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so today is the, is the time shoes, where Luke. I've messed up. So we wouldn't be having this conversation right now if I'd have brought them, but I didn't. Yeah, it's calm. So it's all good. I mean, is what it is. Just, I like seeing my other friends wear them and they look good from the distance. Yeah. <laughs> look, Laura's look good. I can't fit my foot in them. Cause well, if I got you the next ones before anyone else. Yeah. I'm down, man. I mean, I, I don't mind. I'm, 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 right. I'm happy. But it, yeah, it's because I was going to surprise Laura with some shoot, well, with some shoots from you. So I bought them early, got them delivered, and they were there. So it's like, if another pair arrives, she's going to be yeah. thinking, why have you got two? Yeah. So I was like, bring them here. She loved them, by the way. Great. She was so Thank happy. You. Like, it was such Comfy, a Comfy fit. They fit. She, I don't think she wore them. She's, oh. well, she's wore them like around the house, but she's not gone out with them yet. I think she likes to like to keep them. You know, like I've heard a couple of people say that, you know. Yeah, I guess this is a good point. Take it as a huge, well. yeah, as I don't a huge compliment. Anywhere, I think. Like if it's raining, I don't wear them. Yeah. Well, might be able to wear the next one oh. when it's raining. But I think the whole like culture around oh, like no, no, trainers. That. Just, I, I'm just like, if there's a chance of them getting dirty. Yeah, they are white. Yeah. I know what you mean. But yeah. you, but yeah. Yeah. I soon come, soon come. <laughs> but obviously since I've been getting into more Pokemon card stuff, um, or I mean, I always have been, but what I've noticed is a lot of people collect shoes like they do cards. Yeah. Literally. And then they'll keep it in a box. They'll uh, wrap it in like a, you know, the booster box that Logan had, it, had, it was in a plastic case. Yeah. They put shoes in a plastic case. Well, if you go into Flight shelf, Club, they're yeah. all in, they're all in plastic film. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, I don't personally understand. Well, I understand people doing it. I just could never do that. What? Collect shoes? Yeah. Could you collect it, Pokemon cards? I don't. No, but could oh. you? No. I couldn't. Right. So you just. I, just, I just can't see the thing of having something and putting it in a case where I can't touch it. Like a shoe, if I like the shoe that much, it's because I want my foot in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And a Pokemon card, like I want to be able to, obviously a Pokemon card, you don't really, yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't look it, at it though. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I don't want to be holding this big box. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not very good at, we'll get into it later, but I'm not very good at holding like sealed Pokemon products. I want to know what the, the cards are inside. I want to open it. So I've never been able yeah. to like sit on a box because... Well, first of all, I'll break it. But also hey, because I, I want to open it. But no, I think like, especially because you only had a certain amount as well. It's yeah. kind of like, uh, you know, I want to get this, be the first one to get it. So no one else can. And also if it's limited and no one else has got yeah, one, never I want to keep it. Again. Yeah, unless something crazy happens in the future. Like, I don't know. We work with some big company and they're like, we want to re- release the originals, the original. re-release them. Yeah. But yeah. unless who's that... The, who's the ideal brand? Um... I want to stay independent for the foreseeable future. Yeah, because I think uh, I think it's I think it's good yeah. at the moment. But saying but ten Adidas. years, Adidas. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's going to come back to bite me, isn't it? When, yeah, I was like, going to say. Can we private this bit of the video? Can we <laughs> cut this bit of the video out in like three years if something? Happens? Yeah, 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 y
do not clip <laughs> this. Stop. I know, it worse, unless, I know you're doing Unless you're sending it to Adidas. Yes. And it leads to a collapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, LMK. So um, I know two ways. Yes. No two ways. Uh, it's quite Calyx. I don't think anyone knows this really. Oh, come on. Uh, there's, there's no, there's no two ways. Like there's no two directions. You're on one path. When you, when you, when you look backwards at your life, you can look back at one, at one path that had a lot of different directions that were going off it. So coming, uh, overcoming adversity when you're younger, uh, the decisions that you make that lead to where you are today. Uh, it's almost like a little bit of the butterfly effect. So that's that kind that's the kind of vibe behind it. Okay. No that's two directions. Nice. There are, there's one way. <laughs> that's it. And you and you should just appreciate it and follow that path because you can't change it, unfortunately. Damn. Yeah. Speaking about like <laughs> troubles when you were younger, did you have any troubles when you were younger? You're trying yeah. To get, trying to get that clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, no, so <laughs> when I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, that's, that's sick. Yeah. No two ways about it, right? No two ways. Definitely sounds better than one way as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no you know it was called. <laughs> Originally, it was called uh, Two Ways, ah. which kind of goes against... Yeah, it's yes, <laughs> oh, completely opposite. Two yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. You can look back on life and think, oh, I could have changed everything. <laughs> but it was like, I wanted... Because obviously, I can come up with a meaning behind it. Actually, I'm just waffling. Don't worry about that. I shouldn't <laughs> say that out loud. <laughs> I, think, I think it's it. I think like shoes have always been something that... like You said this earlier as well, but everyone's always been like, it'd be sick to like, do a shoe. But everyone's always like, it's so hard, man. Like, screw that. Yeah. Like... So you, for you to actually do it is insane. And not only just Thank do you. it, do it well. Yeah. Because these are these are really sick. Like yeah. a lot of people do, you know, merch or like try and do brands. And at the start, it's always like a bit, you know, it struggles a little bit until they get a bit of an identity. Then two years, three years later, they're like doing really well. It's like yeah. these ones came out of the drum, like sick. Thank yeah, I you. thought the first YouTuber shoe would be like uh, someone's just stock bought some like Asics and puts a print on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. what it would be. Asics but. are one of our uh, direct competitors, actually, in, in terms of, look, they used to be my squash shoe. Oh, and now they're out here making uh, very similar crepes to to some of ours. Well, uh, um, but I can't actually take all the credit. I know you're saying you, you, you. No, but it's like Rockwell, yeah. Princely, Rocky, yeah, who yeah. I've worked with, is is the reason why these were able to come to life. But that is you building that relationship and getting them on board. Yeah, that's what yeah, people completely. always, ask, yeah. And and, pe and people do forget that, and it's how you work together on a project. Yeah, this this kid is going to be a star one day. That's sick. But the, the, the subtle story behind that, if I take one minute, is like, I got the, I, I, I wanted to make them. And then I got in contact with um, one company, or sorry, a friend of a friend who owns a company who was in Box Park right. recently. And uh, came around my house, looked at my shoe collection, was like, I know what you want. Mm -hmm. And then didn't reply to my emails ever again. You sure and I didn't then, rob you? <laughs> I didn't check. <laughs> <laughs> And it was right before the moving pro. Oh no, no, it was it was earlier. Anyway, <laughs> so um, that was the first company. Then I DM'd another company, and they were like, "Yeah, let's set up a meeting." And then they ignored me. So I was like, "You know what? I'm not going to do this with another company. Yeah, I'm going to do this myself. Yeah." So I just did it myself and found this guy. And it was just I kept throwing it out to the universe. And yeah. then my editor was like, "Yeah, I know this guy. I went to uni with him. Set up a meeting, and bang, we're off." Is, it, is that Matt? Yeah, Matt. Yeah, Matt's got you know, a card. Yeah, you know, he's got a Pokemon card that I really want. Really? It's a yeah. It's a staff printed charizard uh promo from evolutions mad it's uh, worth is a lot it? of money no it's In, not it's not worth anything you should sell it to you for cheap true yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> Matt, yeah. if you're watching yeah, Matt, if you're watching this, yeah shout yeah. out to you for the pokemon card and for rocky i've already taught you about Such this anyway card. but shout but, out to matt but yeah that, you're right i think i think if you can do it independently and find a way to do it it will always be better because you've got full control and it, it, it gives you more pride right it's more rewarding yeah but the risk is yeah mad yeah, yeah. I'm deep into this right now. We're talking like multiple six figures into this right yeah. now. I had Damn. to, I've had to, uh, put a, it. So the final look for number three is not done, but I've had to put, I had to, I've had to pay for a release order for number three okay. because of Chinese new year. Oh yeah. So I'm, oh. I, I've paid for two and three without knowing how to do. Yeah. yeah. And then people have a go at me because I only put 750 on sale. I'm yeah. like, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you saw that in 63 seconds. Yeah. So that's, that's a, at least you can go into it thinking, right, these did well. We've got a little bit of like a baseline to work with. Yeah. And hopefully. And I, I got some more de data as well, which was like 4,000 people tried to cart the product that's, in the yeah. first 60 seconds. Jesus. That's sick. That's but I haven't sick. made that many for the next one. Because well, you're I not trying to make a shoe that is 
You're not trying to make a shoe that's the most worn shoe, are you? You're trying to make a shoe that is sought after, like, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I think at the moment, I think things might change because I can't keep going under to come back up. Like, yeah. so for example, I lost money on the first release. So mm. people could work out 750 times 90 pounds. Oh, he's rich. It's 63,000. Yeah. No, I think I put in 70 or 80 to make that happen. Yeah. Mm. So you, you need, there's, there's a couple models that we're following right now, or we're thinking about whether it's like, you keep doing like the easy hype drop or you have something yeah. that sits underneath it like yeah. some of the other companies. Well, I think like, if you look at Yeezy, I feel like their success came after the initial hype, right? Like they were dropping the first, like the first Yeezy. But now you look on the, the drops and they've got so many drops coming out, so many different styles. And I think that's where then you start like actually, yeah, you know, yeah, it's like bringing the cash in. You have like a Yeezy or like a, like an NMD or something like that. Yeah. Where yeah. It's one where it's like, Everyone wears it, but it's not, it's not like a hype shoe. Like no one looks it and goes yeah. like, Or you have the Pharrell's, which like are an offset of that, that are yeah. a hype. Yeah. There's, and they sit. Yeah. No, I completely agree. So it's like, you don't sell as many of them on purpose because you're like, you want people to look at the shoe and be like, oh, that's sick. Like when's the next, when can I yeah. get it? And it's like, oh, they're done. Like they're sold out. Yeah. And then you get the next one kind of thing. Yeah. But it also does suck having like people on the website with no stock. Cause it's like, they're there. They want to buy it. We're getting, we're getting a thousand visitors a day still yeah. on still, the website. Jeez, it's a joke so, it's crazy so, have you and like 100 and 105 have sold on ebay 60 on depop and Jeez. another 20 or 30 on facebook markets as well yeah which have is like sorry anything? it's like a, a third of the stock has been yeah, resold second hand it's crazy sorry have you announced anything for the next one we've and we've we put the feelers out to see what people what colors people were feeling uh i may as well, we'll go for something darker oh, this yeah, time yeah. round. yeah um, something that's potentially reflective. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's about it. I think at the moment. You haven't put like a date out or anything or like a um, timing. Um, mid to end November for release. Oh, okay. Jeez. Nice. Yeah, very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm Dang. I'm looking for. Uh, I don't I don't want to release too much, but potentially like five or six releases next year. That's big. Yeah. Jeez. It's it's great. It, I'm at the same level now where. It, when the, with the Pokemon stuff, I'm not making the product, but I'm buying it, which is even worse because like the margin's tiny. You don't make any profit on it. But it's like you, you put everything you've got into the first one, then everything you make in the second one, then into the yeah. second one, then third one, and the fourth one. And it's crazy. But like, you will, like, obviously the goal is, I feel like no good company didn't make a loss originally, if you know what I'm saying. Like, everyone made a loss. I think so, yeah. Think Unless we, you had like daddy's mom, money or something yeah, like yeah. that but yeah or like an online but even online products you know you gotta put the money into like ad rev right so it's like yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, yeah. you know ad spend so good i think it's a, it's a good sign you you've been there thinking, saying i've put everything into it that's a big risk it's a good sign you know yeah, yeah. you have to right as as, you can't yeah. win if you don't i know i know but it's it's just it's 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 scary yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. it's there's a lot of money that's gone into this and i uh don't get those side men dividends and <laughs> so. <Neither> do we. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm so happy when i saw that, that you made a shoe because i was like i wear side men zrk um ill vision yeah and it's just like yeah. shoes now like, no one's made shoes come on, <laughs> come yeah, on. Yeah. i need to live i need to live my clothes for didn't you turn, you turn <laughs> up to Josh's birthday wearing the whole thing didn't you what? Like it was like side Yeah, I was wearing uh I was no wearing two no ways. two ways, ill vision socks, I think it, or no, ZRK socks, ill vision top, sidemen trousers or something like that. And I was like What sidemen like, trousers can you wear out like that? Is it was in, joggers or, or well it wasn't like a where was it? It was, it was, it was bounce, right? Yeah, bounce, yeah. All right. Okay. Got in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was but, gonna say, have you made some like smart ones no, or like, no, no, no. like no. cargoes? Imagine you had made like a like a tux. It was quite, tux. It was quite like yeah, it was quite cargo pants yeah. kind of thing. But I was just like, this is sick. Yeah. Like, this is all just It is mad, man. Yeah. It is it is crazy when you sit back. Like Ethan as well was was saying that exact same thing. Like, I'm just wearing my friend stuff. Do you know yeah. how sick this is? Yeah, yeah it's sick. It, and it's not like 2013, 2014 when we were doing, you know, sidemen tops and it at that time it was just merch. Yeah. Like, print, it is, yeah. yeah, literally just a print kind of thing you guys are killing the looks as you said you it's not like it's not me it's literally matt yeah oh, matt, i've heard a lot about there. matt i've heard matt a lot is, about matt, matt is a Bro, savior I got, I got um my hair stood up in my back of my neck when you said matt i love matt 
Really? Bro, yeah, because so, you know, <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> bro, it, this guy is like one of the sickest guys ever. That's a massive Literally. compliment. You know, you um, goosebumps. So you know when the, when you guys used to run it out of the house? Yeah. Oh, I, I used to come in Insomnia, right? I used to come in Insomnia and help them out, like do merch, and then end up just counting all the money. <laughs> just sitting back. It's fun. <laughs> bro, and I feel, I feel like obviously like you, Simon, and I guess Josh knew me quite well, but I guess maybe some of the boys didn't know me that well for me to just be sat there with all your money put JJ just counting. Hmm? I like how he didn't put JJ in the knew me well. Did I not? Did so I say? You, Simon, and Josh. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, sorry, sorry. I meant, I meant JJ, Simon, Josh. You, yeah. Um, but yeah, so like, I, I I used to, or they always used to ask me if it's like a really big period, like a Christmas or something, they asked me if I could come help like pack. So I used to go to the house and just sit there. But one, it was upload, the first upload, I was sat there and, and me, it was me and Matt at the time just doing um, the till. Like, I was just assigned to be with next to Matt. So it was just like doing all the chatting to him. And then he's like, I was like, oh, what do you, what do, you do? He's like, I'll do music. Yeah, like, oh, his music's sick as well. Yeah, yeah. We used to, like, we used, to we used to have like conversation after conversation, and I was like, "Wow, we have like so much in common." Yeah, literally like music, everything. And then like when I went to the house the next time after upload to pick and pack and stuff, he was like um, talking about this artist, this guy who produced one of my songs, who he's on, done a song with as well, like on like a weird, like American American SoundCloud like producer, and we both like worked with him. It's, like every, everything was like so 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 like much in common, and then. Friends with him, really good friends with him. Nice, I think this guy's so sick. He speaks so him a lot sick. now as well. Like you're good friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. So the only thing that worries me is like he's so good at both. Yeah, but I don't think he can fully do music while he does it. Nah, you just, while he yeah. does like the clothing side. Yeah, but we can't lose him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cut that bit. <laughs> but yeah, he's, but it might be able to like fund his career yeah, as sure, well. Because sure. I'm sure that you guys are looking after him, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah. Well, Matt, if you're watching, if you're watching, if you're watching this, Matt, I feel like you can always ask for pay grades, pay, pay increases, mate. Matt, oh, I got you. Right. No, oh, man. Man. Who's Matt? But now, I, I don't know why. I just, I just he's this sick guy. You know, so, you know, people in life where you meet them, you're like, yeah. this guy is like, this person's so sick. I want to like, know Matt. Matt, let's yeah, go Matt. out. Our Matt's better than your Matt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it's a tough thing. When, when, like, when we're at Josh's birthday and stuff, I'm always like, where's Matt? I'm saying, like, I'm just disappointed if he doesn't come. Yeah, when he turns up, you're like, oh, Matt's here. <laughs> I need yeah. to speak to Matt. Yeah. Matt, we need a date. No, it's my, it's my guy. Don't swing, don't, audience, don't swing that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, what's next with, you know, or well, everything, really? Like, no two ways, YouTube, etc. Because I feel I like no know, two ways man. you've said, you've said, like, it's, you know, you've got some drops coming up, etc. Yeah. And what's, how much of your life are you now putting into that compared oh. to oh yeah like a considerable amount of my life goes into you no know, two ways at the yeah. moment yeah but then it also goes into after party you know yeah. we've just during coronavirus we've made like five hires wow uh we're working with one of the biggest sports agencies in the world Jeez. and creating um which you might have seen on my story yeah, yeah. uh which is a, a sports and entertainment platform so it's like Okay, I'm not I'm not on top of all of these things, but there's a couple of times during the week there's multiple uh sorry, a couple of times during the meet week we'll have meetings. And you know how it is with stuff where you have meetings and it like breaks up your day and you can't yeah. really put it's like not not using this as an example, but you have like dentist and podcast. Yeah, yeah. Today. Yeah. What else can you do? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or I, right, I can yeah. stream tonight. So anyway, stop waffling. But there's a lot of responsibilities that I feel like I have in my life. And it means that I don't really ever go hard on one thing. Mm. So I'm just making sure that I go hard on the shoes and I want to go hard on YouTube, but it's hard at the moment yeah, in hard, the current hard, yeah. ecosystem. So You're not a game you can't YouTube, do anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, we talk about this a lot as well. And it's like, the whole. if you look at like what Simon's doing and say what I'm doing now as well, you look at all the different channels, like main channel and the Pokemon and then the games. It's like the main channels are so hard to make like, yeah good content on there because it's like the level is so high and it needs to be good as you just it said the, level needs, the yeah. level's high but then yeah. I wonder does it? <laughs> because I've posted reacting to yeah. TikTok but that, but no I know but TikTok, that's a TikTok good idea it's still idea. main channel video it's still, yeah, but it's I'm on good... my seventh one <laughs> <laughs> but if they do you know like people still enjoy them obviously yeah so it's a good idea yeah, yeah. but I know you've obviously got because you've got no two ways you've got after party you've got YouTube and yeah. streaming yeah there's nothing else right? No, not at the something? moment, I don't think. There's like side things. Oh, and my house. And your house. Yeah, that is actually... Big job. Yeah, that's a huge... I, thought I am I jealous was... of that though. I'm disappointed in you because you haven't been doing videos about like doing it up. So I recorded my, my whole office makeover um, and all of my No Two Ways footage from beginning to first release was on one hard drive. Uh, 
I had a video on that hard drive oh, that I was I editing. And I, and as I'm editing the video, it just starts making noise. I send it off somewhere. It came back last week. So we're talking about nine weeks later. Uh, none of it's recoverable. Oh. So all my no two way stuff. Oh, all my no two way stuff. Shit. The house stuff. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the rest of the house. Yeah. yeah. But my no two way stuff. I hate hard drives, we've got, man. We've got me drawing out a, a design that then we took the line from to put on the shoe. We've got like all of the original stuff is all gone. That sucks. But um, whatever's meant to be, what's meant to be. No two ways about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't look back at it. Can't what, look back at it. What was the brand of hard drive? Lacey. Fuck. A Lacey 2 the terabyte one. USB-C orange hard drive. Fuck. You see that cable coming out my bag? Yeah, <laughs> that's the true one of them right <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, no, my, bro, we, after party lives off them. We've yeah. got about sixty. I just hate how like with hard drives you have to back up one, then back up one to the other one. Like, yeah. When do you stop? So, so Ben on every shoot takes no matter how long we film for, and sometimes it takes two hours afterwards. Yeah, takes it, puts it on one hard drive, puts it on another. Two people go off separate ways. Yeah. So if uh, someone gets mugged or they die, and- yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the little yeah hard drive. Um, Wait, they go two ways. I thought there's no two ways. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> They're both going forward in life. True. You don't. They're both going on their own paths. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. <laughs> um, but to answer your question, yeah, there's, there's, I feel like uh, I need to hone in on my YouTube channel for once and for all, but I just can't. Yeah. It's so, I think the hardest people who succeed in life are the ones who overcome the hardest part, which is managing so many things and them all being at the best of their ability as well at the same time. I find it so yeah. hard. Like for me, so if, I, if I'm doing my games channel now, it'll do really well. But then if I do Pokemon more, the Pokemon will do well. It's like it's so hard to make both of them do well. And then yeah, sure. main channel, then the, 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 the store as well. So it's like, it's, it's hiring people in the day. That's, 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 the, that's the way to do it. But And you know what we've forgotten about? So we've, I've mentioned five things that I'm working on at the moment. Yeah. The sixth is actually living a life oh, and keeping yeah, your yeah. mental state <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the right yeah. place, yeah. which that's, should that's be the most the important. Yeah. That's bottom of the list for me. <laughs> bottom of the list for me as well. Yeah. But it, it has an effect, man. It has a real effect. Yeah, and you sure. only notice it after, or it just gets gradually worse, or you have like dips, and sometimes it'll be really bad, sometimes it'll be great. But like, bruv, living, navigating a, um, a nice personal life yeah. uh, 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 and doing things that are good for you whilst also running, say, five businesses or the house, we'll call that a business as well, whatever, because yeah. it needs designing and planning and stuff, is fucking impossible. Yeah. yeah. See, that's where I see, like, I see you, for example, and I see, because, you know, after party, no two ways. The other stuff is, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. Like, I do that. Whereas I don't do, I've got M7E, but like, especially this year because of COVID, like, no schools are going on school trips. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's been nothing to do, really. Um, I was looking and think oh, I should. I really need to sort something out that's not just YouTube because I'm so dependent on that. Yeah, but I don't want, as you said, you need to keep everything up to the best of its ability. Yeah. And if I do something else now, I got no chance. Bro, to keep don't them do up. it. That's what I mean. You're doing great like, right now. Like, yeah. I, yeah, like, I mean, side, I'm not complaining, but no, I'm of like, course, no, of course. But I always see other people doing stuff and think, oh, I need to do something to that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Capable or level. That's sure. That's sure. That's sure your vision, like you're, you're a visionary in that way. Like you want to create stuff. We all are. Yeah. yeah. But I don't have any ideas on it, <laughs> <laughs> but it will come. Just, it's like, more of a jealous, like I, I, I want that. <laughs> I, I, yeah. No, I feel that. I feel that way too. Yeah. But I, I see no two ways in itself. It's like 10 years of learning mm. and yeah, becoming the sure. best that, that I am to then do it. So just so you don't have the answer now, you might have it in five years yeah. when you're yeah. not. And I feel like whatever it, whatever it may be as well, you need to be passionate about it as well and literally have like a yeah. massive interest and you want to, you have nothing else that you want to do but like that, like you wake up and you just and think about it. that's what I haven't found, Jesse. Yeah, exactly. So there's no, there's no point in looking for something that you're not passionate about until you are. And one day you'll be there like, I want to do this. Yeah. Well, it's because it's like, Josh started ZRK and then Toby started Ill Vision. Yeah. Everyone always start, everyone started talking like, oh, each of the side men's going to have their own. Mm. Yeah. And uh, like I got asked loads, oh, what's yours, what's yours going to be? I was just, I thought about it and actually thought like, oh, should I start one? I just thought I don't have enough interest in it. Yeah. So I made like a, you know, a t-shirt, a hoodie, some shorts, etc. with inside men that were like my own. But yeah. it's ultimately, I'm not sat down designing stuff like yeah. Josh and Toby and like you are with yeah, shoes yeah, and yeah. stuff. I just don't have that passion to do it. 
Yeah, so, yeah. I think ben, passion yeah. Is, is quite. That's how yeah, we all started sure. on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. We we're yeah. just so passionate about what we were doing. Yeah, and then it led to money, and this. I'm very passionate about money. <laughs> 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 you should design money. <laughs> but now nah, I think. Let me yeah. know if you find a way. Yeah, well, I'll, I mean, I've got a way. Don't worry. Yeah. If I if I find a way, we're I'm going to leave it. We're on a pocket. Yeah, yeah. Leave, 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 you got a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I can't. There's no two ways. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, I think like you have like if we, you've got a passion to create content, right? <laughs> <laughs> now you do, even if you think you don't, you do. I but do. Like, like, you wouldn't do it. My passion right now is streaming. If I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. Like, how are you finding streaming? It's tough. It's tough because What's I, I'm 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 the last to do it. Let's not apart from Harry. Harry's Harry. So he, <laughs> yeah, no yeah. Knows what he does. I'm the last to do it. Bar Harry. Yes, you're right. But he is just uh, that he's guy. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's a KSI. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a KSI. So uh, I'm finding it very fun, very fulfilling, uh, but tough because um, I don't know how I'm going to view, uh, grow yeah. when all you lot have been killing it for a year or two, say mm. recently, and then previously gaming channels for like eight years. Do you know what I mean? Nah, I, think, I feel like I have yeah. to do my Calyx thing and go, well, I've got an idea. Oh, I'm going to expose, fuck it, it's fine. Turn the back into a Dr. Disrespect green screen room. Try and go and over do my it. Ski, and yeah, do, my, yeah. do my singing thing there. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to have to do that. Just get like above and beyond. To... And then I'll grow and be different and stuff. But then I'm putting my all into something else. Yeah, yeah, I think with streaming, I think literally the key to streaming is is consistency. And everyone, everyone always says that with YouTube as well. Like, I'll be consistent. But I think with streaming, to be like, Fully. yeah, the best. You got like look at Tali is like the best example of it as well. Like just pure hours. Like obviously entertaining stream, but that has to be a given for you to even grow anyway, right? Yeah. So once obviously you've got that, which Tali does have, the rest of it is just 12, ten hours a day and like engaging with your audience. Really. In, in, I, like, I mean, you don't want to be. Your goal isn't. I want to be the biggest streamer in the world. Well, I just want to yeah. create some decent stuff yeah. sometimes. So you, when you're saying like 10 hours a day, you know, it's like, you don't need to go that level, but yeah, consistency is, yeah. I know it's every, every time I do, um, you know, if I take two days off in a row, I'm like, oh, yeah, everything's gone. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. So I, I, I was trying to go, I was like, I, whenever I do something, I always want to try, I always look at like all the other people or whatever. And I was like, I want to be the best. I want to try and do as much as I can on it. So then same with Twitch, start streaming during like lockdown often like every day. And you're like, I want to do that. I want to you know, grow the numbers. I want to like do this with my audience, blah, blah, blah. But then like I got so stuck into it. I was like, do I want to do I want to be like a full-time streamer? And then yeah. I was like, actually don't. So let me go back Pokemon or whatever I'm doing now and go full force into that. Because yeah, like obviously you don't have to, you don't have to, be, you know, put 10 hours a day into it. But if I guess if one of your goals is to be like the biggest Twitch yeah. streamer, you, that's what you would have to do to get there. Yeah. But if you don't, you can still manage it, but you have to just change your expectations. Right. Yeah. So um, I get my expectations are pretty low. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, as well, like I stream at the same time as all you guys as well. So it's like, yeah, I should, if I'm smart, just stream earlier. Yeah. And yeah. then when you come on, get off. The and everyone's is. happy. <laughs> yeah, the issue yeah. is. And among us now, you guys are pulling in some serious numbers. Yeah. But that's the issue as well is like, among us is the biggest game and you need nine people to play with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah. I'd rather play with, you know, you guys, Josh, yeah. etc., who are taking other numbers. Because obviously, if if none of you guys are streaming and I play with some other people, and I'm the only one that's like streaming, I should technically get higher numbers. Yeah, yeah you will do. But it's just a lot more fun. I, yeah, I, I feel like completely them. agree. Among yeah. us, everyone wins though. Because for me, I'll be say like on my average view is probably like two hundred to three hundred. Obviously, I don't stream often. I kind of I just stream when I play like a game, really, uh, like Pokemon or or Among Us. So I'll start like on two hundred viewers, but then if I'm the imposter. From your stream, I get like 1,500 viewers yeah, just yes. coming in to watch me be the imposter and then dip again. Yes, and obviously, they will all follow as well. So then when you're not streaming and I am, they'll come and check my stream out yeah, more. Yeah, so yeah. everyone, everyone's winning. And then everyone's getting content anyway for like clips and that. So it's all, and we're all having fun. End of the day, like games like Among Us, you're saying, oh, you got to look after yourself, like, you know, um, et cetera. That is a way of doing it because we're yeah. all hanging out. You know, we're all hanging out, chilling, yeah. talking together. Having Three fun. hours does breeze on that game. It does, yeah. yeah. Sure. And even though yeah. we are all shouting at each other, everyone knows that it's just a game. But yeah, yeah. I'd rather be shouting at you guys than sat on my own and do nothing. You know, so exactly. it's actually really nice. Because it's you guys as well. It's like if you're shouting at me, I know. Yeah. You know, we're going to turn this, like, you're going to stop playing the game and no one cares. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, when you play with people that you don't really know, you turn the stream off, you turn the game off, and you're like, I didn't really like that. Yeah. Person. So, because you don't know yeah. if you've set them or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so I've, I've experienced that not because I didn't like the people, but because they were, they were try hard in. Yeah. 
which is absolutely fine yeah. because you all are very good at the game. Yeah. But I'm not, so I didn't enjoy it. I got yeah. three imposters. It, I've that, the yeah, that yeah. one. But it was a fucking shit show. Yeah. <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah. But that, I didn't, I didn't, I'd never got crewmate on that map. Yeah. So I had to make up task. It was, anyway. I played with that group the first time I played a new, new map, the second one, the Polis one. And um, straight away, someone called the button and goes, it's like, why didn't you do the key? And I've never played this map. So I'm yeah. like, what's a key? And they went to Tim. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's, that's fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah so it's, it's one of those things though, where it is, I mean, there's two ways of playing it, isn't there? There's, yeah. there's the memes and then there's serious and, well, yeah, I mean, and we're, we're, a, we're a big meme crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny, you know, it's just, it, the game is, you can make it whatever you want it to be. Yeah. Like, if you want it to be try hard, you can, and it's really fun in that, you know, aspect. But also, if you want to just mess around and blame people randomly, it's fun as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, my numbers go up massively when we're all just playing it as a meme, so yeah. I know what my audience want. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bro, we, we have to talk about last night, though, right? What? Well, uh, we have to talk about last night, Siri. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> Siri. So last night we played Among Us. Uh, we we try not to talk about Among Us anymore on stream on podcast. It's just every week. It is really the biggest every thing. Every week we like. talk about it and think, okay, next week it won't be as big, but it's bigger. Still is, yeah. But <laughs> one of the best moments ever oh, happened. Yeah. Um, Toby, <laughs> Randolph, and Rain. Rain were left as the last three. Long story short. Toby voted himself out and lost the game. Yeah, but raged at Rain because he <laughs> yeah. thought that Rain had voted <laughs> Toby out when Toby was crewmate. That so was... hashtag Throby. Yeah, he, felt, he, he felt so bad, didn't he? Because I know as well, the game before, he said, this is my last game. And he was like, oh, I'll do one more. So yeah. I was the imposter that game with you. And I saw Toby at the start and I could have killed him so many times. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to kill him because it's his last game. And it's just, just going to oh, make... Oh, so nice of you. Yes, yeah, so I left him alive. And then I wish I did in the end. <laughs> that's so nice of you. <laughs> but... um. Yeah, because it was the game where me and you somehow didn't get voted off. Like you, it, we got saved, right? Someone voted yeah, yeah. you, and then someone voted Josh or, some, or Vic, and we were alive. And we went to try and do the double kill. We, I got completely confused with what you were doing. Yeah, but luckily, <laughs> it ended up being one of the best moments of all time. <laughs> so it, it was obviously me. Like I was like lying on my ass, and then it, it was. I think it was clear it was me. Yeah, it, yeah. rain even. No, but you did me. well, bro. Yeah, you yeah. Did well, but that's where that's where I think like the meme stuff creates those moments. It's like we'll. we'll I don't think, I know I'm not good enough to do anything that's so sick that it will make everyone post it being like, oh, look at this insane 10,000 IQ play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas stuff like that happens in our games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, I don't know why I did it, but just like, I'm the imposter. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and I wasn't and take it all the way through to the end yeah. in the final three and go, it's this person. Yeah. Yeah. Like moments like that are just so but sick. If you did that in the other lobby, you would have gone. Oh, bro. Instantly. Yeah. Bro. But me and Josh straight away went, this is a video, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, all right, just don't kill. We'll leave you in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and after that moment, it was like, okay, we're all just going to kind of just see what he does and how he plays it. But yeah, it yeah. ended up. That's going to be on his new channel, by the way. Come on. Calix Plays. Let's Thank go. Thank you. Maybe tonight. Change the, you. Change the name. Now. I did change the name yeah. because everyone was complaining that they couldn't find Lux because it's an Indian soap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got bad tweets about it. <laughs> Sorry, the comments. <laughs> so do you run that channel or do you like have someone? So I've stolen some of your techniques. Actually, I don't know okay. if you do it spe specifically, uh, but I know that I firstly can't edit anymore. Mm. Uh, but editing gaming videos, I just wouldn't know what I'm doing really because mm. it's been about nine years. So <laughs> I've got myself a really talented uh, editor. Yeah, I whittled down 300 entries, down to 10, down to three. The three people edited the same video. I picked one of them. It's Seb. 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 And um, and then I've got a thumbnail guy that he knew and we're all in a Discord chat. I drop my clips in, I say what I think the video should be and pull it out. Yeah, and then we've sick. got some sort of agreement to the side as well. And yeah, ho hopefully it blows up soon, but we'll see. I think I need to put in a little bit more effort. We'll see. Unless I get lucky with the algorithm. Yeah. With, mean, it's a perfect time. Yeah, among, I mean, now that you're, just, yeah, you're posting Among Us, it's, it will. I don't feel like I'm hitting the algorithm yet though. I mean, I saw your first video was on like 50k views in like the first like day. Community that's post. That's sick. But that's still... That's like, sick, yeah. Like, not community... Don't... You think... No, I'm saying that's like, regardless of whatever, that's still yeah? big for the first video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, uh, this is it. Like, you don't even know when you're like 50k views on your first video and you're like, is that good? Yeah, because like, with gaming as well... It's so skewed. Yeah. In, in I had like 4k subs. <laughs> yeah, it just grows. Like, I think 50k is a perfect point where like that 50k could be like... A mill, literally, like 
in really? a week or so if he just gets caught in yeah. or not. And then it doesn't matter because you're doing like so often doing them so often and you've got people doing it for you. It's like, yeah, just I can't wait for the satisfaction of seeing a video like pick up in the algorithm yeah, and like yeah, gaining yeah. subs off the back of it. Yeah. That's gonna be sick. Although it it does skew your your goals again. Of course. Like constant, brother. I was like, <laughs> okay, my main channel, I've got my main channel, I've got my second channel, and then I've got this clips channel and uh Viz and Nort run mine and they do everything. Like I just went, okay guys, like we've got we've got this deal on the side, as you said, but they do everything. Now <laughs> I've seen it doing well. It's now my most viewed and highest earning channel. Really? Yes. Your clips channel? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So uh <laughs> now my entire goal is, oh, I like streaming, I'll stream oh, I see. and have this channel. Yeah, because it's double your double yeah, so yeah, 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 and I enjoy both of them way more than I. I still enjoy my main and my second, but I enjoy those way more. It's just really yeah. hard. It's it's you need to literally be up here now because you've got your Mr. Beast Mr. of the Beast, world yeah. that are just up here. Yeah, dickhead. and you can't reach them. And if you want to get near them to kind of pull a certain amount of views, you have to try so hard. Whereas yeah. you can just put but then time he comes into, into something. Gaming. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, who? Mr. Beast comes into gaming and oh, just yeah, yeah. looks at his game the channel scene. Yeah. by oh, being that good. Mate. Even even he's understanding though. He's tweeted out like, "Look at this video where we spent like so much money on it, hundred thousand dollars, whatever budget, two weeks, three weeks doing it, and this is me playing Among Us for like half an hour, and he's yeah. done more views or the same views. Yeah. And but probably again, more money maybe. Yeah. As yeah. Well. But it's well, again, it's the same thing you mentioned before about TikTok. It's just what the audience want to see. Everyone everyone loves Among Us, so everyone's watching that. Not everyone's buying hundred thousand dollar Lamborghinis to give to their friends, so it's different type of things. Like I think a lot of people watch gaming to relate to what they're playing, whereas a lot yeah. of people watch, say, the vlogs to kind of like see what you're doing. And I think it's a different, it's a different like culture about it, both of them. And everyone like like everyone likes games. Well, not yeah. everyone, but you, yeah. if you like games, you like games, so you like the most popular game. So then, like, you can just get lost in that content yeah. for hours. Like, everyone's playing Among Us. It's not just streamers. Everyone's playing Among yeah. Us, so they want to watch other people play it. Yeah, you know? and their favorite YouTubers you know who do who make different content play i don't play even it. think it's mainstream yet you know i don't I think, think it's caught on to twitter and instagram and stuff i've no, started seeing yeah. a couple memes here and there i think it's still got because when you get like your friend groups from like school right yeah, yeah. And stuff and then you start seeing the tiktoks and and so on. yeah and then maybe one day in, in lockdown two or whatever instead of it being like quizzes that everyone's doing on zoom maybe they'll just be jumping on this game yeah for real it's a huge yeah, it's, thing, i'm, I'm it's happy like, for them yeah if you said to someone now uh uh, something about a vent or like red sus or something like that. No one would get it still. So it's still not peaked. Yeah, I agree. And I don't know how, I don't know how long this game will last though is the thing. Oh my God. Bro, what? that video is one out of 10. You're welcome. What the hell? What's the video? How much is my $11,000 Pokemon pack from Logan Paul really worth? Okay, well, even though Randolph just rudely interrupted, nah, we'll bro, move on I, to I this topic. topic. <laughs> Sorry, but no, because obviously like the one with Logan Paul banged like Unreal. And I'm like, and then I did the one with JJ and that was like number two, but just close behind it. And I thought it's going to be, I was like, this is going to be a stinker. That's mad. Well, Congrats. we'll move on to Thanks. that. <laughs> You've um, smashed it. That's, that's the new channel. That's the new gaming channel feels. Yeah, yeah He's is, got it, it right is, now. Yeah, He's feeling there's, there's all endorphins well, yeah, running. His other one did so well. Like, he showed me a picture and it's like, his, the you know how it says your average views of like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It was like 30 to 50k. Yeah. This video was on 300k. Yeah. So like, not just number one, it's a lot. Yeah, so I don't know how that one's And doing... this video is now number one over that. Oh, f look, I'll, I'll yeah. show you. Um... Yeah. Like, this channel. So basically, for everyone wondering, we'll move on to the next topic. Uh, Logan look, Paul look did the, the box opening. He, he opened the Pokemon pack. Yeah, $200,000. Randolph uh, bought one of the packs. Yeah. And... We all stayed. There was about eighteen of us in a call. Oh, it was so sick, man! And we all stayed up to watch it. It ended up starting yeah. at two thirty a.m. and ending at about five. Yeah, because because I was uh, the very last pack. <laughs> he even said about ten packs in. Thanks. He was like, "Oh, it's going to look like I'm putting Randolph at the end." Well, Laura made a good point. You know, I was the first one to buy a pack, so I would have been the first name into the jar. No, because so, he did mix it around. But yeah, I feel like if, if I'm the first were, one in, if you were like yeah. stuck on it. That it's is just true, like that is swiveled yeah. it, and yeah. it's gravity in it. It's, if I'm at the bottom, it's not going to go to the top. So it's gonna it may, it may be like the bottom five, and I was just unlucky yeah. in that. Yeah. But um, I reckon near the end he saw that you were were there, and he like wanted to put you last. Last, maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I guess for him as well. I, everyone in there, I was probably one of the funniest as well because obviously he literally fought JJ, and obviously one of JJ's best friends as well. Yeah. yeah. To be in there, he's got like you Gary Vee and all these other people he's spoken to a lot. 
not on like a professional level. Yeah. Like you've spoken to him about professional stuff, about the Pokemon cards and everything. Yeah, I think I was probably one of the first to message him when he first bought the, you know, when he, he bought some cards. Yeah. And I was like, oh, he's buying some cards. I reached out to him then. So pretty nice for him as well. But also got the whole JJ thing and the Sidemen. I mean, he said yeah. he, he, he probably thinks I'm in the Sidemen, which is good for me. He I said guess. it, didn't he? Yeah, he <laughs> said Randolph, Randolph from, from the Sidemen. Side, from Sidemen. <laughs> Bruv, they, they just think, well, Everyone fair is. enough, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take if it. you're in if the I'm UK. in the Sidemen in America, then let's <laughs> so be it. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the UK, you're in Sidemen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Size. You've monopolized us. <laughs> I'm my own person. You're creating an army. <laughs> There's no I, two ways. You're side men or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was sick. That I, 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 one of my comments on my on the video of my react, reacting to Logan's pack or the pack opening was like, "Oh, it's so nice having all of your friends in there listening to it with you." Like, and I so th thanks for everyone for jumping in. I need to watch that video. Yeah, it's hey, good. So, so yesterday, yesterday's one. The day before Saturday's. The day before, I need to watch that but because I'm, I'm, that's uh, that's that's. I was going to say it was going to be a great video. Yeah, it was a good Let's time, it. wasn't it? We had, we had a lot of fun on yeah, there. It was, like, it was yeah. late, but it, it was just fun. And Hope um, you cracked out all of the inappropriate slash sus yeah. jokes that were, <laughs> yeah, that then, were said then, by... It was people. like a four hour, a three hour call or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you, you guys were in there anyway. I was going to sit in with my Discord like members. I thought they're, they're all excited for me. It's nice for me to like give back, or not give back, but like share that moment with them. But the audio was so bad. There's like 30 people. No one's got good mics. Whereas like, well, all us lot have got better mics really because yeah, yeah. we just do content. So I was like, you know what? And just for the video anyway, it'd be better if I just jump in with you guys. So I came, I, I, all, my, all my members were like, bro, what are you doing? I go, go, in, yeah. go in that voice call. So I did that. Um, and what, that was the video that's on 300k or is it the next? That day? one's like 600k now. 600k? Yeah, it's mental. Oh so I mean, bro, this channel is going to like, I posted the picture of his subs in the chat as well. Yeah. yeah. And it was like 3k, 4k. That was when you did the video with Josh and stuff. Yeah. And then and you. the day of it, you got 11k. And then like yesterday you got 16k. Yeah. Today you've already got like 10k. Yeah, it's mental. Just the channel is taking off. But for anyone listening as well, to give like a bit of advice and stuff, it's same with the game thing as well. If I haven't been posting my Pokemon content every single day for the past year, it wouldn't be like this. Like you have to do the groundwork for when something trending. Like, like if I hadn't, if I had no content before and I jumped on now, while now Logan's doing it, no one would watch it. But because I've put the groundwork in every single day, made sure that the content is good and good and good. Now it's like you can like read the rewards of it and like strike. So same with gaming as well. Like we, I've been doing my Randolph Games channel for a long time. Like Warzone clips, Fall Guys. And it wasn't doing very well, but I was like, just keep going. To my editor, I was like, just keep going. Obviously with YouTube, you know, it can be really great and awesome yeah. and awful. But as long as you keep going, when something like Among Us comes around, you can then like bang the hype. Yeah. And when it drops, you still do it as well. Because if I wasn't posting daily two months ago, I wouldn't have been even posting Among Us for to do, to do well. So it's yeah. like, it always shows people out there. Like you just got to keep grinding and be consistent because then if you're doing that and the process is there, you're able to then like act out and like get the big moments. I that think is very good advice. Thanks. One huge thing, which I don't know whether to say it's advice or not because it could be terrible advice. You took a huge plunge by paying $11,000 oh, yeah, for a pack, yeah. which you know mm. is no way near worth that. Yeah. I mean, it got to the end of it and we knew that there weren't any, what is it? Hollows. No hollows, yeah. In there. Yeah. No shinies, so, yeah. Yeah. Even though they said there might be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah there was, it's yeah. very small chance, yeah. yeah. I think, I think Lachlan chance was saying... chance of dying of COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lachlan was saying he had like 13 hollows in a jungle box once, but again, it's different. That's not based there. He said he had 11 in one. He, yeah. So it's a bit of... <laughs> so I don't trust his counting. True. <laughs> he just got it wrong, yeah. But... um. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew it. When I first saw Logan DM me, he was like, I'm going to open it on October 9th. I was like, wow, it's going to be sick. And he was like, I'm going to sell it for $11,000, $111, whatever, because um, fuck it. I was like, I was, I was like, what the fuck? I was about to go to my Discord, like, this is crazy. How much did you say that pack's actually worth? Well, I remember being here, I think it was a podcast, I was talking to someone, trying to get this deal sorted for a heavy first edition base set so pack. guaranteed hollow. Guaranteed hollow. So the, cause the old packs, you can weigh them because the hollows have got, you know, heavier ink, so you can weigh them. Um, How mad's that, by the way? Yeah, that, man. yeah. I, 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 I thought it was. Is it because of the ink, or is it because it's like got a bit of like shiny stuff on it? Yeah, both, really. Both. Like that that, that weighs it. Right. That's what I yeah. always thought. But if it was the, the ink like alone, had to buy like a jeweler's. Uh, yeah, a jeweler's scale to weigh them. So it's like weighing's not a good thing to do. But it's like with the old things now, it's better to weigh them to sell them because if you buy a pack that's unweighed. The seller probably weighed it and they're now saying it's unweighed. And it's probably yeah. a light one that they're trying to get for more money. So now with the old stuff, it is good to, if you're buying a single pack, buy one that is heavy or light because you know what you're getting. So guaranteed or, heavy was how much? Uh, I, I My bid was $4,000 right, for a guaranteed hollow. So obviously guaranteed Chansey, Charizard, Blastoise, or whatever. And I went up to $6,000, which is what I outbid on because someone else bought three of them. So he bought three for six and I only bought 
was offering one for six. So I yeah. said to him, just to be fair, like if someone's offering three, don't risk that sale to just give me one. Yeah. Looking back now, I would have took, taken all three for $6,000 yeah. heavy with <laughs> yeah, yeah, a video yeah. on my channel. But um, that's the level of price they were at. So then for Logan to do $11,000 unweighed, and by the way, if you buy in a sealed box, you know they're unweighed because they open it on camera. That's, that's why people buy it from Logan because it's coming from a box. You see the box. Whereas again, if you buy a single pack, you don't know what it is. It could be repackaged, could be light, it could be whatever. But $11,000, I was like, what the hell? That's ridiculous. But then he said after, he was like, going to do a shout out and maybe a FaceTime as well. And I was like, oh shit. So now I literally replied back saying, oh, let me know I'm down. Then I, and then he decided to do the live stream. No, no, he had decided that anyway. But he, he means on stream to do FaceTime. Oh, that's what he meant. But right. I think he realized that's going to be very long, like yeah, very technical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I, I, yeah, like I say, it was a massive risk, but like, I just understood like obviously content, getting that video from it, getting that hype yeah. around it, getting I mean, my name you, involved. You always knew straight away, I'm going to get at least two videos from this. Yeah. You are still earning some money from the cards. Yeah, for sure. Like you're not earning zero. Watch my video to find out how much they're really worth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, I mean, the the marketing you got effectively was way more than ten thousand dollars. Yeah, and like, especially because I was last, it was a good thing because you just kept saying my name over and over yeah, in the entire the whole stream. Chat, the whole chat was spammed. Yeah, yeah. And he spends good time on you. Yeah, and you messed up the 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 message. Oh, bro! So I Did didn't you? know. Yeah, so I didn't know they were going to show the email of what you want to be shouted out on. So I was like, they said to me, like, what do you want, to, what, what do you want him to shout out? So I was like, oh, Randolph, and just mentioned my Randolph channel, Randolph Pokemon. I didn't know that they were going to show that quote. So even the quote says, my Randolph, my Pokemon channel, Randolph Pokemon, <laughs> like, rather I than see, instead showing of like, what it is. Yeah, and Vic was like, on the thing, he's like, you've, you've made, I hope you put Pokerand.net in the list. And, and I was like, fuck. No, yeah, but luckily he said it. Luckily he, he goes did. like, oh, it's Randolph. Oh yeah, he's got a Pokemon channel, Randolph Pokemon. Um, Pokerand? He's actually got Pokerand, his, his shot. Yeah. Like oh, mad. Yeah. Which I rate that as well because yeah, he didn't have to do that. Sick. He didn't have to do yeah. that. So he just, he just like ad libbed it. Logan's a clever guy. He is, yeah. Yeah. yeah for clever sure. guy. Well, clever apart from listening to Guru. Yeah. Well, stinky we guru. know We know what that's all for. <laughs> Come on. We know, we know that that's there for the inflating the prices or whatever their <laughs> motive is. And that's what I mean. Johnny Sims Guru. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Sims. <laughs> Weird Don. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he, I mean, I've I mentioned it in my video as well. That's, I think that's part of the reason it did so well as well. Because I think a lot of people in the community were glad that I said something. Because a lot of people don't really want to... I think it is in, this, in this point here where you've got Logan Paul, one of the biggest, you know, well, probably the biggest person to come into Pokemon in terms of like the viewership and stuff. You don't want to... A lot of people in the Pokemon community don't want to go at his friend in case it burns the bridge that they've got with Logan. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, again, like you said, Logan's a smart guy. Logan... It's same with, with JJ as well, you know, it's like they understand like, integrity to be fair. So, you know, if I'm if I'm if I've got an opinion on someone that Logan's working with, Logan's not gonna hate you for it. Yeah. It's your opinion, right? And then maybe he'll appreciate actually someone, especially in this case, where I I do think like Collectibles Guru is just feeding him loads of stuff into his ear. He might appreciate nuts, someone bro. saying, like, oh, this guy's a bit, you know, a bit off. So again, I'm not worried about burning my bridge with Logan. Same way as I'm not worried about burning my bridge with JJ by doing by buying a pack from Logan. There's yeah. so many comments yeah. like, oh you snake man. I'm like what? Oh but the, like these are, you're just kids. Yeah. You? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Like, and then JJ obviously doesn't care in the slightest because he understands the game. He understands he's, how He's the like exact opposite. He's like happy yeah. for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just, yeah, you got to see the opportunities where they rise. And sure. again, like, I mean, even, you know, it's, it's not snaking, is it? If you're snaking, if like before the fight, I was saying, Logan, you know, JJ's been training like this, you know, that's what snaking is. Yeah, you know, yeah, not publicly yeah, buying a no, pack. Yeah. There's no competition to JJ of you buying him like a pack of him. Exactly. Yeah. It's like if, if they were both doing a pack opening, you bought one from Logan and then not JJ. That's snaking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, and JJ's happy for me because obviously he knows that like I'm taking a huge risk to do the Pokemon stuff by throwing away a lot of them. I mean, we did, we did the album, went on a tour together. He's like now like working with all these big artists and I'm like doing Pokemon. At first he was like, what, what are you doing? But I think now he's like, oh, you're passionate about it, which is the best thing. But also it's doing well. So it's like, yeah, fair play. But um, but let's go on to the Guru thing because I know it's, it's an important topic, right? Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, this guy, obviously, you guys saw him in the stream, the bald guy, um, who's always there. After you have to they don't know who he is otherwise. Yeah, the yeah, bald no. guy in the stream. Um, you know, after every after every card that Logan pulled, he's he's like saying they're like 25,000 30,000 When he pulled the charge, I just see him, he was there like he's like this, like trying to get it to see the center and stuff. I just think that this person is not good for Logan and is not good for the Pokemon community. He's got a background in crypto. Which tells you a lot, right? Because I've, I've not, not got a problem with crypto, but it's a very, you know, you, you're there for the money. There's yeah, no other reason to be there, like, right? Look who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, 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 but it's one thing doing it and then there's another thing trying to sell it to other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I told you all to buy Ethereum at $8. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you don't you, you buy you buy bit you buy crypto. You don't collect it, do you? You don't you don't sit there and frame it and be like, maybe you do actually, but you don't sit there and be like oh, Some first. people hold, some people yeah. But there's if if you say that someone was in crypto, it normally means that they were a personality within crypto who would buy coins and then show them to the yeah. audience, which is the same as what he's doing here. Well, he's, yeah, yeah, he did it in crypto, that, and now he's doing it in Pokemon as well. But there's a difference between crypto and in Pokemon, because Pokemon, the reason it's so expensive now is because it is a collectible. Like, even well, the reason Logan's getting into it, it's not just to make money. Like, if Logan wanted to, he can just go and drop some merch and do something else that or would the, make him a lot club, more money. Make a couple more videos on the Maverick Club. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So for him to even get in, involved into Pokemon is because of his nostalgia and his actual excitement into Pokemon. And that's why... That's why I'm leading to the conclusion that I think the guru behind is the one like kind of trying to, I saw in, in the, when I watched the live stream back and edit and I realized he, Logan said, you know, when uh, collectibles guru got the pack, it was his idea to even do the live stream in the first place. Like he wanted, he was, he was the one who wanted this to happen. Yeah. So it makes more sense now for Logan to buy the box for 200,000, sell it for 11,000, which is going to make like 150,000 profit on it, on the top of it. And therefore is then going to, increase all the price of all these cards for Guru who has them. Like he only sells like, he only sells the first edition and the, the base set card. He doesn't sell like all the newer sets or Sky Ridge or anything else like that. He just sells the regular one, which makes you know all the sense. On really. his site, he sells. Yeah, yeah, on, on TikTok and everywhere. Every day. I mean, he's probably, he, and, and, and at the end of the day, like he's smart as well. He knows even by me saying this, me making a video on him, that it's good for him. He's going to get all the attention yeah, for what yeah. he wants. But there are some screenshots coming out. I don't know if you, did you read them in the chat? I did, yeah. He, he literally said something like, what? So I have to care about these like fake animals on pictures to make yeah. money off it. And I'm like, what the fuck? Cause like, this is a collectible. Like people yeah. love Pokemon. Like I, I'm in it. Cause I, my memories with my mom, you know, opening packs. Like, I've got a genuine interest in Pokemon, all the games. And that's why they're worth money to a lot of people. They're not worth, they're not just, they're not just commodities. You know, it's not like, it's not somewhere just to make money. People want them cause they're worth, cause they're worth something to them. And that's why so he's paying. treating it in the same way as like one crypto coin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's in that's it. What, that's what he's saying is like Pokemon cards are like crypto. You, you can't go like I like I really love Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Like you're not like you know uh, like I'm gonna get a tattoo of Bitcoin. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, people, some no, people people do. Yeah, like, some people yeah, do. Yeah, but you yeah, know, but, and, like, but yeah. you're in it to make money. You don't have a child, You don't have like a childhood memory no, of, no, of no, that. No, no, no. Whereas yeah. like a Pokemon card is someone might literally just go, I'm buying that Charmander, and I'm never like I'm never selling it. Yeah. Even if someone goes, oh, here's a million pounds. It's like exactly like, i just want the charmander and again i've said on a podcast before but i'll reiterate to, to tell you as well i think one of my friends who's like a really big collector as well he said his worry or his something that will alarm him like give him alarm bells is when all the high-end collectors and all the old long-term collectors start selling because like as soon as they start selling the cards are now a price where they're willing to let go their like cherished collections yeah and at that point it's a worry then because whoever you're selling it to won't have that feeling because if you're the if you're the heart, most hardcore, you know, lover and collector of Pokemon, and you're willing to sell it to someone, who are they then? So then yeah. it just becomes trading, and then at that point, you you just trade in commodity with commodity and money with money. So that's the worry that a lot of people are looking at right now. And I think you're already you're already there now. After the stream, you've seen so many people list their cards. People listening to Bulbasaur, it's like thirty grand just because he said yeah. that. Just yeah. not off chance someone buys well, the it. The day that the day he said it, there was one sold PSA ten for five k. Yeah, and that's and yeah. he said it's thirty k. <laughs> yeah, and he also looked at every card and went, "That's PSA ten." Yeah, I think he's a grader, yeah. you know. And then I just think it's just not good for the community. And a lot of people have been coming back at me like, oh yeah, if it's money, mate, you got to realize it's going up, you know. And I'm like, yeah, it is going up. But, but you don't want authentic. it to be a bubble. Yeah, yeah. And it's never been that, you know. Because if the, if the, if the prices are going to go back down, but it's like how sharply they fall now. Yeah. Because of this. I imagine most collectors will start selling now and then in a year later, just buy them back. Yeah. Smart idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I just find it crazy that like it's just sad to see as well because obviously I, I do love I mean I'm, I love Pokemon that's why I'm doing it you know for real and um I'm doing the store now you know I'm I'm looking to like make make profit with my store and my cards and stuff but that's not the sole reason I'm in it and you know you're doing that to be able to carry on doing it exactly you yeah. get to make bigger and be better videos like look yeah. at Logan Paul does yeah. YouTube for ten years or whatever and then is able to now spend two hundred k on a on a box yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'm, I'm trying to do it as well get old, old school boxes and sell them like, like he did it's called a box break I was wanting to do that before even he did this one uh, but the difference with me is that I won't sell them for a profit I'll sell them to break even or even I'm trying to work with some sponsors to try and get them to pay for the box and then I sell them for like really cheap um, to give back to like, the community and hopefully people can buy packs as well and, and yeah. have the enjoyment but um, no nah, I mean it's, I waffled a bit on this but it was a crazy event though it was a good it was, night it made me want to open packs a, yeah, yeah same yeah. Same. So but I don't really have much knowledge in it, so I just that's the stay issue. away. Yeah. Watch yeah. you. 
What's your PSA thing yesterday? With JJ? No, the one when you're on your own. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Did you watch the whole, the, like the, yeah, the, the, whole thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the grades were awful. I know, I went up, what was it, a six? When six, I saw that, six I was is like, bad, yeah. So usually it's like, genuine 10 is like the holy grail. Yeah. Everyone wants a 10, because it's like, a, it's not perfect, but it's it, very, very up there. Um, What's the gem mint of a perfect one? Or is it just called gem mint? Yeah, there are, there are two well, companies. Mint. So yeah, gem mint 10, mint 9, near mint to mint 8, then I think mint se- uh, near mint 7, and then excellent to near mint. To, yeah, it's like a little big scale, okay. but it's usually like 10 is like holy grail. 9 is still mint condition, like very happy with 9. Per- not perfect car, but like you look at it and you think, wow, what's wrong? what's wrong with that? You yeah. have to go really close to it, look at scratches and stuff. 8 is like... A bit, of, bit of like you see a bit of like damage now, and then seven gets down there, but six is really bad. But so I, I was I was good when I got that Celebi in a six. Uh, and shout out to the graders as well, Grader Gem. I worked, I worked with them. They ordered the cards for me, so they made it. They actually like made the oh, video. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, nice. No, so saw, yeah. they could have put the child on first, and it'd been awful. But they like put a six there, then gave me a bit of hope, then like took took it down again. But if I didn't get that ten, I would have been very disappointed. Like yeah. very disappointed because I've spent fifteen k on that whole collection. Really? Yeah. Um, but it's like a three hundred card binder. Those are the best 12 and there's 32 hollows and reverse holes and stuff. But the Charizard there, you know, being worth 12,000 now has made me, my purchase of the rest be, been only 3,000. So is really is that purchase. right? It's worth 12,000. Yeah. So the funny story about this as well for those watching is that, um, is at the time I was saying to Simon and Josh, or just saying to Josh actually, it's worth like 8,000. The last, like the last sale of this car was an $8,000 card, but it will go up because it's a Charizard. It's a 10. It's a really good card. In the future, it was, it was going to go up. But then when I filmed the sign on the day after, I was like, actually, there's been a sale like yesterday of $12,000. But it was Lachlan. Lachlan bought it. Really? Yeah, he messaged me. He was watching my video and I was saying some guys bought one for 12K to Simon and he messaged me. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Why? It's crazy. Just started collecting them now. He's been collecting a while, a long time, but really? like, under the radar because I, again, he enjoys the cards and he doesn't want to make them go up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, Fair play. Which is good, you know, because like he could easily, a lot of people easily could be there like, doing what Logan's doing and making the cards go up for their own back pocket. Mm. But it's like, I think anyone who cares about Pokemon knows that it's not good for the hobby for that to happen. Um, and it's just going to happen over time. And, and yeah. it's going to happen naturally. Yeah, let it happen naturally. That's the best way for it to happen. Yeah. Um, so even, you know, Max Mofo, he's got a Pokemon channel where he posts yeah, so almost daily on there. Um, and he doesn't, you know, he buys high-end cards, but he doesn't show what he's buying. I, I do that because I do think like, there's also a responsibility to be transparent, like show people what I'm buying what I'm selling just so people can see, you know, it's nice for the it's good content as well. I always want to know what people are buying and selling, but there's a difference if you're like inflating it on purpose to increase the, you know, the price. Often in my videos, I devalue cards as well, just in case I'm trying to, I'm, and I guess not indirectly boosting card prices, but just always be honest about it is the best way to go about it. But um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think it's Logan's fault either. I think he's just got into the game. This is the person he's found. This person must have reached out and said, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guru, man. I know everything. And he's only been here for like three months. He's only been in the hobby for like three months. Yeah, so yeah. He, he just, it's worrying. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at Logan. I'm just mad at the poor <laughs> guy. This is a nice clip you've just got there, brother. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. In fact, I bet he uses a terrible VPN. I bet he does, you know. <laughs> I bet he uses an awful VPN. That's why we don't. We use. <laughs> we use ExpressVPN. Express. Express. <laughs> Go on, Randy. Oh, bro, I mean, I wasn't ready yet. Oh, go okay. on, Simon. <laughs> well, uh, wait. I've just seen. Have you read the first line? Yo. Okay. Well, that, that's mad. <laughs> when I was first looking at this, I was going to use that as a segue. Oh, if you jumped the gun. But anyway, go on then. <laughs> so recently, we've all been watching the Social Dilemma on Netflix. It actually says it on here. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the documentary, tech insiders explain how social media is engineered to exploit users' data for profit. They call it surveillance capitalism. Look, I'm fine with the normal capitalism where I'm waiting for a, where I'm a willing participant in the transaction, like every time I go to the store to buy food. But when my data is being harvested so tech billionaires can get even richer, that's where I draw the line. And that's why I put a layer of protection around my data with ExpressVPN. Every time you use the internet, big tech companies mine your data by tracking your searches, messages, and video history. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, it hides your IP address, which websites can use personally to identify you. That makes your activity more difficult to trace and sell to to advertisers. You still need to be careful with what you share on social media, but ExpressVPN can make your web browsing more anonymous. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your data to keep you safe from hackers and prying eyes. Many VPNs slow down your internet, but not ExpressVPN. It's incredibly fast and easy to use. Just tap one button and you're protected. 
So if you don't like the idea of tech companies exploiting your personal information, then visit expressvpn.com slash what's good right now. And even you, and you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash what's good to protect your data. Go to expressvpn.com slash what's good to learn more. And obviously there'll be a link in the description as well. But we always enjoy working with ExpressVPN because we generally, I use it every day. So and it's, it's the one. Well, the easiest. I've used VPN in the past, but this is the easiest for me. Yeah. And uh, you should be using it, right? Like, yeah. Well, I guess we should talk about it now then, the social dilemma. Well, yeah. So I didn't know that that was actually going to say social dilemma on that. No, nah, so, I didn't know it was going to be either, but I'm just smart enough to, you know, segue from that into that. Nice, so. nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, social dilemma is a Netflix uh, documentary. I was going to say film, but. Yeah, documentary. Yeah, because there's, there's some active it's parts. A bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that, that's the cringe part for me. We'll get onto it, but well, it basically says the problem with social media and everything around that today. Yeah, and what? Just before we talk about that, what do you actually think of it? This, this, the uh, watching, just the watching of it. Uh, it's very interesting hearing from the people that built these things that are now the things that control our lives, and they're but all like, "Did yeah. you enjoy it as a documentary?" I enjoyed that aspect. Uh, I think I feel like I knew most of it. That's because what I was we use, say. That's, we, but, yeah. use we unfortunately yeah. use some of these. I think you, you can tell ourselves. it's definitely a documentary built for a casual everyday person for who sure, doesn't know yeah. about it. And that's why they put the acting. acting in there. Yeah. Because yeah. the acting part I didn't like. And then when so it started cringe, cutting man. to the people inside your phone or whatever it is, and yeah. they're like, quick, run an ad. We just made three cents. <laughs> yeah. I did not like that. That that it, part. I agree, but it's definitely for the mainstream. Yeah, yeah. In that aspect, yes. And it it was that was really good. I can ex- I can appreciate the filmmaking behind it, even yeah, though I'm like, sure. I know what you're doing. Yeah, that's a good point. I know how these algorithms work. So Kinda. my brother watched it and he actually started limiting his screen time each day. Wow. Yeah. He's not someone that lives on social media beforehand so i think that as you said it's built for someone who doesn't live on social media and it's changed his mindset yeah whereas me i think i've genuinely used my phone more since i watched it yeah i think we've got a big <laughs> problem bad. Yeah. We, we've yeah. got a big problem in that we know like again we watch documentary we know that this is happening i mean I, i'm even i even used to run an agency where i used to do ads so yeah. still now i do that with, with my store and stuff we you know, run ads to people who if you visit my store before, you know, target people on Facebook and stuff. So I'm watching it thinking that that is awful. <laughs> but I'm still doing it. And, and, and I'm still on my phone every single and day. you're having a guru. <laughs> no, no, that's just different. That's two yeah. different guys. It, it's more of the like, again, like you're saying, these people built this service. Yeah. When they built the ad platform, they weren't, they weren't there's no way they were building it as a tool to be free. used like this. Yeah. They're just, it's just, it's, I mean, ad, ad space has always been, that's how we all get paid from YouTube. You know, we all, yeah. we all, you know, put ads on our videos, but I think it goes to the stage where the addictability that they're coding in on purpose. You know, they're looking at how much you're scrolling down, they're putting this there. That is the bit where it's starting to get, all right. This, that this, swipe down thing from the top that yeah. is supposed to be uh, a casino ka Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, that's the that's the problem. There's nothing wrong, in my opinion, about putting ads on, you know, platforms where people are looking. That's just natural. It's how the platforms exist. It's how content creators exist. It's how, and then also, ads do also supply, like, a need for people like for me as well people are looking for pokemon cards if they're scro- scrolling through facebook and see my store that's cheaper than other stores it's gonna be okay i'll go and buy that that's, yeah. that's perfectly fine but again like you say or like i, like I say what i'm saying <laughs> it's where they start like <laughs> tapping into your what's the words your uh your your yeah your mind yeah tapping yeah. into your mind and like purposely putting things there to trick yeah. you where it, the bit where it's like um a notification that the girls just posted on Instagram or something. Yeah. yeah. And that gets him hooked back. Notifications on are, a, are a bad yeah. thing. I've turned well, off especially a couple. recommended notifications. Yes. I've turned off a couple notifications. I tried the stream time thing on Instagram. I put it on for half an hour and I was getting some Instagram stats for Josh at after party. Yeah. And it, I went over my thing. Did you just click ignore? And I, no, I can't on my phone. Right. So it kicks you off. So I had oh. to go into digital wellbeing and then turn it off and go back in. And I was like, well, that didn't work. <laughs> it's yeah. my job, innit? Yeah. I've got yeah. to send over these analytics. So yeah. you can't kick me off, unfortunately. Yeah. So it's trash. Yeah. We're, we're Okay, you talk about the whole nation, but if you want to talk about us individually, like we're trapped within this because it's what we do. And so even if you want to get away from it, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you, you still use every platform or? I don't have Twitter on any yeah. thing here. So 
Yeah, George, and how do you find George that? runs my Twitter. How do you find that? I love it. I love not being able to see tweets. Really? Yeah. Admittedly, I feel terrible because some people are tweeting me nice things each day. Yeah. I feel awful not being able to see them. But when I was on it, I could get a hundred tweets that are like, oh, I loved your video today. Oh, it was, it was so funny. Oh, blah, blah, blah. One that's just like, oh, I hate, you. I don't know. I hate you. Something like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but way deeper or whatever. And instantly my mood is gone for the day. Mm, like, really? Yeah. Like I know, I know I shouldn't because like YouTube comments, for example, it's the same for that. Every now and then one will get to me and that can ruin my whole day. Yeah. So I'm happy. I feel like Twitter is the most toxic out of all of them. YouTube think, comments, you kind of accept. People yeah, are just yeah, yeah. a little bit weird on there. Yeah. I think, I think that is the only way to crime. I was just going to say bird apps dying a little bit. Yeah. Little yeah. Bit. yeah. I, I hope it does. It's because it's, really it's, it's, it does. it's the political aspect that's, that's, that's taken it away. I, I, think, I think Twitter, and if you ask any of us a couple of years ago, what your favorite social media platform, I think everyone would have said Twitter. Twitter by far. 100%. E- even Gary V. I used to watch his like daily views and stuff. And used to ask, he's always shitting on Twitter all the time. It's like Facebook, in- Instagram is the, the wave. He always used to like, do phone-ins of, of kids like, in a high school and stuff. He'll say, what's your favorite app? And they'll all say Twitter. Mm. And he's like, what? Why Twitter? But it is because it's that instant, like, it's just, I don't know what it is about it, but and it's so good. People are funny. People are funny. Yeah. It? But now the political side of it, the stand the stand side of it, it just goes too far, man. It, like, and it's Agreed. just, it's and just, cancel culture as well. Yeah, and I don't think it's Twitter's fault. I think it's our fault. I think it's. it's I think we're we're, cha- we're changing. You know, at the, we're, we're changing like as humans. Let me sum it up for you. Go on, go on. Then. Oh, he's done the hand. He's done. He's the, done yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, boom. All right, boom. <laughs> I think that it's very easy, and it's so it's great. All right, uh, falling into these little cults slash sex like slash interests like whether it's a stan or a, another community. So you support the same football club or so on. You can collectively like, okay, we make videos at the start. I made them because, uh, I could show how good I was at Call of Duty. And then off the back of that, people would watch it. And so yeah. on. now I feel like it's the same thing and it has been all along, but people can like w- when someone goes viral for s- that's something that they've done wrong. Like it's, sh- it's someone on Twitter's job to come up with the wittiest, funniest thing that can put them down yeah. while getting the most likes and retweets possible. So people are all in their own little corners of this and they're all trying to be the funniest and get the most attention and be the most relevant when they're not that person in real life. Yeah. So unfortunately we have millions of these corners now and some of them are the side men. Some of them are, I don't really, I don't personally have a Calyx corner of, <laughs> yeah. uh, of it, but um, there's certain things that I see from some side men fans. That I'm just like, why, why are you doing that? Like, yeah. w- like w- what's going on right now? And it's because you want it to be popular within this world, mm. in my opinion. Sorry if I'm wrong. And I'm sorry if this is pissing you off too, but it's the truth. And that's why it just, it's a toxic race to the top slash yeah. the bottom, yeah. whichever way you want it. And that's my two cents on it. Yeah, I think I agree. Well, I always see people just, it's, it's the thing for me is just like trying to cancel people for, yes, you have like a reason for it, but at the end of the day, my thing is like, okay, if I don't agree with something, I'm going to just like, if it's not, you know, hurting someone or like, it's hard to explain, but I will just move on with my life. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want to say that because then that means, you know, oh, when you see something really terrible, I just move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's not like that, but for example, if someone's, someone's done something that does oh, it was like years ago whatever yeah it's just like just doesn't really change your life by uh, unless bringing it's that up now. what they've done is illegal yeah like oh yeah if someone's murdered someone and yeah, yeah sexual assault murdered. or something yeah 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 completely agree you but can't say like, they've yeah. done something in a video that was like okay back then yeah like the whole world thought it was okay back then yeah probably did offend and piss off people but now that's being brought forward 10 years yeah, yeah and it's also like you know i guess making those mistakes at the time Say, say someone says something at a time and someone at the time picked up on it, they'll learn, okay, I'll probably, I won't say that in yeah, the future. And you'll I'll learn from that. So, so they, may, they will have learned now, but you're know, picking something up from years ago. Let's like say, like, let's just, Ethan is an example. I'm not saying he's, he's done anything, but I'm saying like, he's changed, right? Yeah. He's gone from someone who was probably like, bit of, you know, with his, his weight loss, right? His, his weight loss has that completely changed him as a person. Like you can obviously... Yeah, kids killing it. It's yeah. like... It's the confidence within him now. Yeah, that's when what you first it, yeah. met him, he didn't have it. Yeah, and it's not just the weight. It's exactly. changed. It's changed as a person, right? So he's gone through years of weight loss, also changes as a person, confidence, everything. His whole plan has changed. 
why then if he said something that, at that point where he may have been like depressed he may have been depressed as a person uh, as a person sorry he said something then now he's changed how can you ju- you can't be on, you can't on one hand be a stand for example and say bro ethan you've done so well man i'm so proud of your change but then also say what, what's this that you said when you were a different person yeah it's yeah. just so toxic man like and it doesn't help you know you, it's not they're not helping anyone <laughs> it's not helping anyone really so that's where like i'm a very i'm very pessimistic as a person but when i see someone say like ah oh, like ah oh, i'll always love what you do etc cetera, etc cetera, i'm like all it takes is one thing and you'll yeah. you'll turn yeah. you'll turn on me and suddenly you hate me yeah and, and that is, i know that's a really bad way of thinking but my thing the reason why i think of like looking at something from the past is you're the kind of person to say oh you need to educate yourself but if it was 6 years ago 7 years ago whatever and you're now having a go at them, you're saying that they can't educate, they can't have educated themselves. Yeah, mm. exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, that's true. Everyone's learning and no, one, no one's perfect. Um, yeah. And we're seeing that at the highest level, the, you know, the president of the United States, you know, like that's that's the person that people have always look up, looked up to for like help, you know, throughout all all, all these tough times is, is the president. And if, if, if he can't do that, then you have to understand that, you know, regular people who aren't political can make mistakes as well, you know? I mean, Twitter, um, I think Twitter back then, was just what you would say in a group chat mm. and yeah, people was, people yeah. found it like way way more funny now i think because everyone's on twitter yeah everyone can now see your like well look at little britain as well L- little britain was literally like a, a satire show right yeah its purpose was to highlight these problems mm. and you know let's yeah let, let's laugh at these issues but also we're highlighting them and bringing them forward and showing how wrong this is so then to then like cancel that it's like well what are you doing then like they are highlighting it, you know, they are, whether, whether it's funny or not, or you don't find it funny personally, they have educated. Yeah. We, we, we're thinking, look at, look at how bad that, what, what we do in our, every, our everyday life is, you know? And then yeah, it's just, and it's the same thing, man. It's like, and, and, and you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's people change, society changes. And yeah, if someone's saying something now, then yeah, bring them up on it. But back, back I, when. Th- I, th- I think now, like I personally, am probably in the same boat as you. I'm, well, actually probably all of us are. In that, like, you'll see, like, we'll see something that will link in the chat. Yeah. In our WhatsApp chat and be like, rah, this is like mad. But then, like, I don't feel the need to go and speak out about that. And I'm saying it's illegal. I'm not saying it's sexual assault. I'm not saying yeah. it's yeah. any of that. It's just something that's a bit mad. Yeah. Like, I retweeted that porta potty thing yesterday. Did you watch that one <laughs> yeah, I put yeah. in the chat? Someone booted over a porta potty with oh, someone yeah. in it. Yeah. 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 And they were trapped in it and then came out covered in piss and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That's crazy. And there are a section of, of Twitter that would be like, that's mad. Like you can't do that. You can't do yeah. that, which is absolutely fine. But I, I completely agree with you. You can't do that. And I'd never do it myself, but I don't feel the need to be outspoken. Yeah. Yeah. About it. And, and I think there's a fine line and there are things that you do need to speak on. And there are probably things that we should speak on more. Yeah. But to, to I think you need to build people up. Oh, but we've, I don't know. I'm gonna. Get, people are gonna go through my old tweets and be like, "You didn't build this person up. You took the piss yeah, out of them." But I've learned now, and this is what I do now. Not yeah. every, not everyone is or can be like a leader as well. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to be that person, you know. Like, and That's again, a great point. Again, maybe yeah, it's that. Oh yeah, you're not strong enough to do that. And it's like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the best. I'm really awful with my words. So if I was someone out there like, trying to fix things, then I'm, it's not going to do a good Same job here. to reach the people. What I can do is I can act like better as a person, and I can still learn and educate. But it doesn't mean that I have to be the one being like don't do this, do that. I yeah. can, I can, you know, I can donate or I can retweet or I can share links on my platform, but I'm not going to be the person out there. Like in my music, maybe I can when I'm writing it down, but not every day, you know, so you can't be mad at someone for not doing that. I got know? a great point that adds to that. Mm. People had a go at me during um, the recent Black Lives Matter uh, movement on Twitter. Yeah. It was a small group of people. Yeah. I had retweeted loads of information, probably maybe like eight tweets in 24 or 48 hours but I hadn't directly tweeted, you know, that short and URL, um, card one, yeah. the card yeah. one. I hadn't gone go here and do that because I found that my words didn't live up to the people's that I'd retweeted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I understand then their point of view of saying, but if you say it, it's more powerful. Yeah. But I feel, I feel I don't have the credibility. Yeah. I feel like it would come across the wrong way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's the sure. thing. It's like, if you, with stuff like that where it's really serious it's like okay out of these 100 people that have tweeted it that are all have a massive following how many of them have tweeted it to spread awareness and how many of them have tweeted it because 
okay, I actually need to just tweet it because otherwise people will get on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and then, then <laughs> that's still good because it's still spreading awareness. Yeah, yeah. But it's what's your what's your intentions behind it? Yeah, and then yeah, and then also you tweet, and you think, I wonder if people are actually going to think I'm tweeting it just for like yeah. clout. There's, and then it's like, well, there's a circle that <laughs> yeah. goes on in our heads that you don't know about. Yeah, it's that circle. That's yeah. why. That's why. Like I, I noticed when I said, oh, I hope it does. I hope Bird App does die. And you kind of were like, oh, like what? Do you think it? Do you want it to? Do you not want it to? Do you want it? What I think it's an. It int- I think it's a good part of our ecosystem. Uh, on the on the good side of Twitter, I think it's yeah. it's good for instant news. It's good for good memes and good videos. Yeah, and funny, funny, funny things that happen instantly because I feel like Instagram's a little bit. Instagram's much slower. Yeah, you can't really ca- catch something on your explore page. It c- comes up like two or three days later for the algorithm. And also, it takes time for the people to put that content out. Whereas like a tweet can just be like five seconds. Instant, so you get yeah. more of that. Like yeah. So for instant news in the world, I think it is very. Uh, it's very much needed. And I do surf and I do find my political stuff from there, but it's not good for my head. Yeah. Any yeah. of it. Really. I think the, Simon's done the right thing in terms of just getting rid of it. But then yeah. you do, you do, obviously you would love to be on it still and seeing the funny things, you know, what, I what wish we I could, in the chat, but you don't want to see the negative side. I wish I could turn off. I wish I could go on the app and not have a notifications tab. Yeah. Just scroll through. Yeah. Because then I would, all I would see is the people I want to follow mm. and I wouldn't be tempted to click notifications. So make a second account, refollow every single person you follow on your main. It's very true. Keep it oh, private. Yeah, true. And no one, yeah. Make a, yeah. 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 Then no one can do that. You. Just make a burner account. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got start a... tweeting you abuse. <laughs> 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 well, if you're private, I won't see it. <laughs> oh, unprivate five minutes. Yo, well, couch, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder like people, this is just like a wild example. Someone like Bill Gates, right? Who's clearly successful in multiple businesses. Those type of like executives and CEOs, they probably don't have any, they probably don't have anything on their phone other than like text to their parents, brothers and everything. So what they'll have is like, like what, with George, like George helping you out with your Twitter. Like yeah. He'll have like someone sit on his email and she'll, or he'll say like, hi, this is what I've got today. He'll answer it and then they'll write, write it back to the person. Or, you know, same thing on, on Facebook, Instagram. And that's probably the best way to go about it. You know, you're still on yeah. there, you're still active on there, you're still seeing what you want to see, but someone else is just doing it for you. Um, so you're on it, but you're not on it at the same time. But obviously for us, it's kind of like, I'm, I'm not going to employ like 10 people to yeah, manage yeah, every social aspect. media manager. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, did you ever see what Ed Sheeran used to do? He he took like a year off. What, he's like on his, cu- he's, he's currently away at the moment. So yeah, he, all he does is he wakes up and he checks his computer. And he'll check his emails. He'll, he might check. I don't know if he checks Twitter and etc. But then once he's off, that's it. He doesn't have a phone. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I like, heard he probably has a basic phone. phone that he can get a text. Like yeah. uh, when he says he doesn't have a phone, I bet he still has like, you know, yeah, sort of have a way to contact his like mum or dad or whatever. Well, no, I think he doesn't have it. Really? You don't think he has any like? I reckon he might have like a thirty-two ten or something. Like that. <laughs> but the thing is, that's that's the, that's sorry, Ed. And I, I'm not I'm not calling him out, but it's like that's, it's a privilege as well. Do you yeah. know what I mean? To be able to do that because I I do that today. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, you, can't, you just can't. And it's like it's the worst thing. And we 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 watch the social dilemma knowing the problem, and I won't do anything about I it. I can't change it. I'm not going to change yeah. anything about it. And I know that. And I was like, it's what you it is. see the bit where there's one bit where the girl posts something on Insta and it doesn't get likes, so she deletes it, and then she posts something else where she's edited herself and it gets more like yeah and they talk about her ears yeah and the whole point is like how you know the, if you're not getting enough likes it starts affecting your mental health and then also people start questioning certain stuff like they'll go oh your ears etc stuff like that yeah I don't find that on I find Instagram so easy to not care about that like I'll post a picture and sometimes I go oh that picture didn't do very well I can genuinely say inside my head that does not affect me Twitter 100% affects me yeah, mm. and I don't know why. I don't know why Instagram doesn't have any effect. I could I could literally post a picture right now, and every comment could say like, "Oh, what the what the fuck's up with your nose? What's up with your teeth? I don't know, stuff like that." But on I would, Twitter, I would honestly wouldn't care. Yeah, if people yeah. started tweeting me it, it would get to me. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what that is. I don't I don't I don't know that either. I don't know. I can't explain that. It's just the app. And I guess the same thing is with YouTube as well. I've got that level as well. I guess like on YouTube, like we just we just know to just ignore most comments, really. Yeah. Like I was going to say, even here, like the notification thing. I got notifications on my phone, from my like Instagram and stuff, and I've got a YouTube notification of a comment on my. For some reason, I don't often get them, but it just says you're the worst YouTuber. <laughs> it's like why have they chose? Why have they chose to put that on my phone? Like why is that the one to make <laughs> yeah, it through? Bro, I had that earlier as well. <laughs> like why? But the I thing is, yeah. 
I just want you to also, keep that keep you down. Yeah, yeah. I've had I've had my phone off now. Uh well, you know, we've been doing this for like two hours now. Yeah. And That's like a hint, by the, the way. Yeah. No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't. <laughs> and like, don't maybe I hope that you can't see it, but don't don't show it. But I'm just showing you guys. It's like this is two hours worth of stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. And that might not yeah. look, look like a lot, but I've got a I've got a now these it's are fun. There's a YouTube email. There's an insurance email. A DM no for a meeting. I, <laughs> Joel, make, make sure that's not. Uh, make sure that's not on screen. Regardless, <laughs> just, show, just, like just show us. It, zoom, don't show us on the podcast. Just like zooming it to the camera, <laughs> <laughs> scrolling through everything. Yeah. Yes. Um, a YouTube email, an insurance email, uh, three no two ways emails, four no two ways emails. And then all these group chats and 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 yeah. and people and notifications and NatWest business account. Yeah. Bruv. Yeah. Bruv, it is, it is, and it goes back to what we were saying earlier. Fucking cancer. We've, we've been asking, <laughs> we've been asking all these things to you about what you're doing. And like you said, the one we didn't mention is just life. Like how are you doing as a person? Oh, know? right. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's no. actually Matt. No, that's, no, no, that's you, no, 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 I didn't. I, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I, Matt, how, what, how do you want to answer this? No, 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 it's not a question, but it's like, you, you know how you said you've got all these things. All oh, right. You've got okay. these five put, things plus life. Yeah. yeah. We've actually spoken to you about everything except life. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, even don't La- ask. Even Laura's like, um, don't ask. oh, we should have like a day where we just go like a hotel and just forget about all the work. Do it, man. And I'm like, well, we can't. When? And that's the, how, how awful is that? Yeah, it's bad. So bad. But it's then, bad. like, I don't want to stop because I, I, if if you stop, like you say on Twitch, you have one day off Twitch, everything falls apart. So you have got to keep going and going and going. And I was saying to him on like Discord the other night, when do you stop? Because I'm always like, I got to work now, so that when I'm like 40, 50, I can like relax. But will I be? If you're not taking care of yourself now, then will you? What, what's to say you will be in like 20 years? Yeah, that's it's, scary. It's this is the most one of the most relentless jobs in the world. Yeah, that yeah. people look up to us and they're like. Oh, it's amazing. They make so much money. Look at the house they live on, live in. Look at where they go. Yeah. Mentally. Amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. But the stuff that goes on behind the scenes and, and the effect that it has on your mental health and no one really talks about it. No. Maybe I talk about it the most within, within our group or I'm always there for someone to fall back on. From my personal experience with all of us, yeah. I don't know what other people do on their sides. But like... It's going to come back to bite us, man. It will. In, in a, sure. in, in a, if it hasn't already, it will come back to bite us in when we're 30, when we're 35. Yeah. So like, that's what I, I always say. Yeah. Like, um, like I say, oh, I can't wait to be off the internet. And everyone always takes that. I was, oh, he's quitting YouTube next year. And he's yeah. quitting YouTube soon, etc. And it's like, I'm not. The reason I say it is just because if I can make it to an age where I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do videos anymore. I'm like, I'm yeah. tired, basically. Yeah. It's more because it's like, okay, I've survived. Yeah. Like, I've managed to make it to the point where I don't have to do any more things online and see the comments and stuff. And I know, like, okay, that's that's the worst. That's the worst of it. Now, I've literally, I can I can just live. Yeah. I think the solution to it is just hiring people. Obviously, we're, we're blessed to be in a position where that may be a possibility. And the better you do, the more chance you get to do that. For example, say five years ago, like if you had an editor on YouTube, you were like, laughed at, right? Yeah, people, yeah. your audience had a go at you. Yeah. yeah. What, you're, yeah. You're, you're not in your videos? I mean, you're, you're, like, you don't care that. about your audience anymore then? <laughs> yeah. Even right. before that, when you were first starting, I, I, this was before I even did it, I remember if you guys posted like a video a day, you're a money whore. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I, now, yeah, you you're posted, right. If you go a week without posting, it's like, oh, you don't do anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're so lazy. Yeah. 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 We did oh Hesky Time days. and Sweaty Goals. And I was saying to JJ, like, it was in the charts. I was like, we can't actually get in the charts, you know, like the real charts. And I was like, bro, we've got to keep pushing this. And he was like, nah, I can't. I was like, why? He's like, because they're calling me a money whore. Imagine really? that. Imagine, imagine now, like, how much promotion JJ is doing and how much people respect him for that promotion. Yeah. Whereas there was, there was once a day on YouTube where we couldn't, we literally couldn't post our song. Yeah. Couldn't promote couldn't post promo on our song because we looked to be seen as a money whore. It's crazy. So my, my point is that like now, you know, we've, you've got an editor, okay? So that someone edits our videos, we pay that. People understand there's no way you can film and edit at the same time. And now I say with, with you know, your clips channel, you've got someone there all the time yeah. doing that actively and he's got like, you know, an investment in that. So then it keeps going and going further. I think what you're saying there is a good point, but maybe in five years, 10 years, you'll be off the internet you're still making content you're still log on to play games just like an actor yeah you still log on to play or you'll be a director and you'll be behind the camera telling other people what to do yeah yeah and your content's still being put out there and you're still having an influence but someone else is doing it for you and all you got to do is 
oh, it's six o'clock now. I've got an Among Us session type thing. Go and sit on with your mates for an hour, log off, and that's all you do. You don't even plan your stream. You don't even, oh, blah, blah, blah. You've got an investment in it, but you say, you know, you tell someone else, you know, this is my plans, and they go and help, help you with that. That's what it should have been four years ago. Yeah, it should have been, yeah. And that's what nobody knows and nobody's thought about. Well, the smart people will have, like, there are, there are those YouTubers you... You watch their like behind the scenes video, mm. like Pokimane. I watched her like eight, eight um, yeah, eight employees, right? Or whatever. Yeah, with uh, she made a video Graham with Stevens. that Graham Stevens. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, and it was really insightful. It was yeah. like a really insightful video, and you go, "Oh wow, she literally has a tree of people." Mm -hmm. But all you see is Pokey. Yeah, yeah. It's like we should all have this individually, but we don't have that American money. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the industry isn't as grown in the UK, so there aren't people that are searching for those jobs like they are in LA. Yeah. But also we feel but better because we've, we've been in YouTube in the area where you were frowned upon for doing that. So yeah. like, surely also, I can't hire someone do think, to do this. Do you think the UK audience just prefer that though? Because like, for example, the like, just take the Sidemen, for example, we literally, you know, Con comes and films it. Obviously, he is like the crew yeah. to film it. But effectively, it's Con. Then you have a full-time editor. Yeah. And then we have TP. One employee, TP. Well, I was going to bring her up. I was going to say how but, much... But that's it. Yeah, that's, that's all. Like, but, I'm pretty certain Logan had that within his first year of YouTube. Yeah, minimum. for sure, for what, sure, and, and way more, way more. And, and you don't understand that. How, I mean. how much help has like TV been for you guys? Oh yeah, it's like, changed everything, yeah. right? So it's like, imagine if you have ten of those. But do people then like it because it's like, oh, these guys actually run it themselves? Nah, it's waffle, man. Because you can still, you can still run it with that outlook. People will still think that. Even though you're not. They can still have the vision. Right? Yeah. As long as yeah. you find the people with the vision so they're not like throwing you way off skew. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's not, it's not like you shouldn't, we shouldn't feel bad then for also lying to the audience at all. It's like, you got to be healthy, you know, you got, you got yeah, to be able yeah. to like manage all this stuff. Yeah. It, what, what would you prefer? Like no Siren Sunday or a Siren Sunday that has been, you know, thought about, thought about, and worked on about other people. But at the end of the day, you guys are still true to yourself because you are independent and you make the decisions. You know, yeah. it, it, I think that's where YouTube is going. And we should catch up to it, I think, to be fair, because like you say, well, look at Logan. Behind. Yeah. But also, look at Logan's stream, the audio was trash. So it's like, hire the right yeah. people, find, yeah. find the right people to do it, but you've got integrity enough to, to find the right person. Yeah. You know? But um, yeah, the Americans do it differently. They're just, they're just built differently. I think that the audience over there is different as well. They expect TV level type of content, whereas we feel like we have to do everything ourselves, and that's what's going to kill us. <laughs> Literally. You're not wrong. Yeah, like, yeah. like Laura edits my videos on, on the Pokemon channel, and at first, she said to me, like, I'll, I'll add it for you. I was like, no way. No way can you do that. Like, you're not good enough, you know? But she did it. <laughs> she's very nice to his wife. No, but it's, it's, it's going to be a compliment. She did it, proved herself. And now she's like working like 12 days, 12 hours a day at the unit. She's done like, like 300 orders this weekend on her own. Like no one else, just her herself. 300 what? Orders from the Pokemon store on her own. And she wow. Com she, comes back cry she comes back crying. She's like, I can't do this anymore. Like I'm broken. It's just, and I'm like, so we're trying to hire people right now as fast as we can but then she comes back and edits to like two in the morning gets up at six and goes again so like now i'm editing it for her and i'm trying to find a new editor but no one is good as, is as good as her no yeah. one can do the job that she's done because we care so much about it that we've been like their hands-on making it as good as it can be so now it's like i'm gonna have to find someone and i've got a guy who edits my main channel but initially just tells it all he edits from reddit videos i said to him I'm like with reddit videos i don't care what you do really but you have to be very specific with the pokemon stuff because i want it to be a certain way that, yeah. that just shows me the level of like yeah, yeah, why yeah. it's going to be do, doing well is because I'm invested into it. But at the end of the day, it's like we, we care. So, I think often we care so much that we didn't give it to yeah, someone else. We care mess it up. so much. <laughs> but that's yeah. why like your plays channel, like the gaming one, you'll notice because you've started now with someone, it's so much more beneficial because you, you'll still care about the level it is, but you haven't set the level. So if he does something different to what you would have done, it doesn't matter because you've never done anything on that channel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is it wrong that I have like... Prefer it. I like skipped yesterday's upload because I was like, we need to make it better. So it's... I think that's wrong, yeah. Yeah, I think that's wrong. Yeah, you got to post that this, With this channel, I'd say, yeah. So I, I, I remember saying on my game I'd channel... I'd say you need to let them... If it's like a mistake... No, it wasn't a mistake. It I would just, say let... It was just a... Let them the do Calyx it. Calyx way of editing. Me personally, I would say let them, let them do it. I'm at a level now where I don't even watch. I don't watch it at all. I just, you just post it. Oh, so damn. here, look, there's a title here. I care too much. But that's the, that's the issue is like, you have to care, but not to the point where, okay, you might start doing this where you say, oh no, we should do this differently. We should do differently. And then suddenly yeah, you're okay. going to one upload a week. Yeah. And that's not what you want on that channel, yeah. right? You want it to be... Yeah. I, missed, I missed a meeting with Ben earlier because I was doing some gaming feedback for tonight's video. Yeah, and look how that's... Yeah. So yeah. That's, that channel is now affecting other and stuff. And that was for a branded deal. Yeah that now has a potentially subpar idea. 
Yeah. So it all has an it all has a knock on effect. That's why that and that's another always, thing that I've taken on. So it's like yeah. it's, it's, it's six things now. So here, look, Simon admitted he was still an imposter. Simon admitted he was an imposter and still won. Like my guy sent me that title and I just didn't have time to say yes or no. So he just posted it. And after I was like, that's not a very good title, right? But it did. Re- it ended up doing really well. And like you, you don't care. I don't care. No one cares. It's just all right. I mean, it's a good title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm looking at it it's doing well. So it's a good title. But again, again, like if I didn't post that. It could have been a different title that may not have done well. Yeah. So it's like make mistakes. But again, like the most important thing I think with each challenge is just consistency. Posting, posting, posting. And oh, so what if you've, you know, this wasn't edited to perfection? Tomorrow the next one will be, and the next one will be, and the next one will be. And I think Mr. Beast is a great example of that. Like he, he literally got big on YouTube by saying Logan Paul like two hundred thousand times. Yeah. And there's no there's no quality in that. Like in terms of like there's no camera angles it's just him yeah. there but people watch it and they respect it because they know that took so long yes. you've, you've, yeah, you've yeah. jumped and you've tried you know so next one and now look now he's making it better because he's got the resources for it and he can be like right now I know what I want to do because I've got the funds to be able to and the views to be able to do it and whoever's editing your gaming channel will 100% look at comments so if the comments feel there is a need to change something yeah they'll find it anyway okay noted that's yeah. how that's how I do it anyway. Like obviously, See, I was gonna go the opposite way, but I just cut. This is this is why my brain's depends fucked. What, depends yeah. what you want it to be. I know. Yeah, I want it to be the best thing possible because it's coming out of my camp. Yeah, but so it's... but unfortunately, I just don't have the time because it's like I'm like killing myself doing all this shit. It's yeah, like, but what, end, what do you consider you know? the best? It's like is the best the best video, but once a week or videos constantly. Yeah, you know what I mean, but not as high quality. Yeah. Yeah. It's like which one do you want that channel to be? And ultimately if one of them's gonna take up your time and stop things that you're really passionate about, that's I yeah. feel like that's your answer, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. and all the all the top top YouTubers, even yourself, like you were once posting like a two minute gold cup video, right? That you now yeah. would not be happy with. Yeah. But if you didn't post that video, he wouldn't be where he is now. It's like same with PewDiePie. Like I, mean, I was PewDiePie's... happy with it. It was my first. Video. <laughs> yeah, it's my best video. <laughs> it was my first video ever. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, like if we, if we, it's, it's like back in the day. I used to, I used to private videos now because they were trash. Whereas, yeah, I used to do that too. Yeah, but like, what, what's the point? People yeah, I used enjoy to make whole videos and then they would completely flop. And you should delete it. And I would put them private. There's a song I did um, called "Bite the Bullet," right? And you know, back in the day, where you know, if KSI liked your video, it would bang. Mm, you know, yes. It'd just say KSI like this. Um, I did that and he shared it, liked it. And I was getting so much hate on the song because it, it, it was like a bad song. People didn't like it. It was cringe or whatever. But it was my, my, my biggest song. And I deleted it. At like, a, no private. I just deleted it because I was getting hate comments after like, after 30k views. You know, that could have been like 500k, a mil of views or whatever. And I just deleted it. And it's like, wow, well, well, now I'd love to go back on that and think, oh, I've changed now. I've got better. I've improved. But for some reason, I deleted it. Yeah. It's like, you can never get it back now. There's <laughs> the learning. Yeah, yeah. And you still learn that. Yeah. But it's uh, still learn from that. It's, Crazy. And it's always a vocal minority as well, isn't it? Like that's what yeah, we need to remember. Always. Like, always. You have two hundred comments on a video that has a million views saying like this is Great. terrible. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's two hundred people. You yeah. still got a million. You got a million views, yeah. and there won't be. There's... And the watch time sixty five percent. Yeah, the likes will be way higher than dislikes. Yeah. And the worst thing is, you scroll past three hundred comments saying this is amazing, and you see one, and you're like, Whoa, yeah. And, this is, you, and it's bad. We're bad at that, you know. You shouldn't scroll through praise and then pick up on the hate ones, but. Just in our brain to do so, isn't it? I know. It's we're wired differently, bro. Yeah. That's why I can't wait to be off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't, yeah. I mean, I I don't have anything else to no. say, really. Yeah, I've always got a big problem. We've always got like a list on the the laptop to talk about, but I've always got a problem with looking at it because I don't want people to think that I'm unprepared and I have to look at my notes. So like he he there's looks the, at it. There's the perfectionism. Yeah, I, mean, so I literally I'm, just look at it like this. Whereas he's, he has to like look at the camera and then he does a really like <laughs> <laughs> quick look. So have we got anything else to talk about? But um, I mean, we were going to ask you like, what do you think the world will be like in 20 years as well? I we, guess can, that, we can end on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Because we, we knew that this podcast would definitely be like a, you know, one where we speak about the one future. One of thought. AI, Neuralink, all this type of stuff. Oh, we missed all of that. Yeah. So, but we got, Round we, we kind of, we kind of touched on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what do I think it's going to be like in 20 years? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know you, um, you definitely watch some videos that have... That's a really tough question. I think it'll be exactly the same, but worse. Yeah. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> In like, every way. So sad. I think it'll be exactly the same, but worse. Okay. Because everyone's just, it's just a race to the top in technology. It's a race to the top in controlling our minds. Uh, Elon Musk will have the Neuralink implanted and so will other people around the world. So they're actually computers, not humans. Yeah. We'll have gone to Mars, the moon, 
other places. Yeah. I think we as humans are so like desperate to beat each other and be the first to get something that we act, we don't stop and think, should, should we be doing this? And I think that we obviously ha- strive for the for perfection. We have drive and uh, we're pioneers, you could call us that. I'll speak about you guys, so I'm not talking about myself in that way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there are people that are also those things in the world, but want to uh, do bad or mm. to push the limits or don't care about the world. Like I'll never do, hopefully... I'll never do something that will make that will people will die off the back of. Yeah, yeah. I'll never make a decision where people will make will feel really shit about themselves. Like thousands of people, millions yeah. of people, mm. and there's people in the world that don't care about that, and they're the ones that are at the top. They've so the same but worse. Yeah, you think it'll just carry on that way, kind of thing. Yeah, and uh, unless something like coronavirus happens again in fifty years, but it really wipes out some people. I think yeah. that the Bill Gates obviously like two years ago said that this is the biggest threat to humanity because yeah. I don't think that people are going to throw nukes at each other anytime soon because that is that, that could happen the end of the day. world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't think they will. No. I think it's more going to, it's going to be about dividing nations. We're going to be more divided than ever at the moment, but also the, one of these like flus will come along and just fucking yeah, wipe yeah. us out and yeah. we'll have to start again. Yeah. Is my, is my really horrible view and I'm not in the right <laughs> I'm not in the right mind frame to say something good about about the world it's, it's shit at the moment it is bleak yeah, yeah. And, and that's why by the way I also think Twitter is a gift and a curse because while this is all happening it is funny to just laugh at it you yeah. know, it's, it's funny for people to post memes and be like satire you know it's like we're in a shit situation but let's at least try and have some happiness and some joy out of it and um, again that's that's the little Britain thing isn't it? That's, you know we're laughing at our failures but we're also highlighting it at the same time. Yeah. And I think that is important because it can't all be do- doom and gloom. So like, you know, t- just scrolling through TikTok sometimes can imp- improve the mood really. And that's sometimes needed, you know, in all this like discourse, it's always nice to have someone there to just make fun of it, us all <laughs> while, we, while we're true. getting fucked, you know. <laughs> that's true. Do you think um, in 10 years there'll be a new social media app? Uh, yes, there will be because we keep, yeah. you know, would you have said when there was Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you, we would have said well, that's enough now. And TikTok's come in and well, Vine, Vine needed a well. replacement. It yeah, did, yeah. That was did. the only thing was, but we didn't Vine, know we needed Vine. They, TikTok has yeah. for Vine. I don't yeah, think. yeah, yeah. Vine Tic- came out of yeah. nowhere and then Vine went and it was like, okay, there, there will be a replacement. It's just, well, who is it? Yeah. yeah. Will it be like Vine 2? Will it be Bite? Will it be? Yeah. Yeah. But, but now, yeah, I can't see anything. And are they all too powerful? They are too to powerful. To be taken down. They are, yeah. Yeah, because YouTube is for sure. I mean, look at look at look at Facebook. They literally found they literally had Facebook guilty of like rigging the election. Yeah, and what's what's happened? But I mean, are they like are they too powerful to be used in t- to be taken down in terms of user levels? Like YouTube is like, there's so many people on YouTube and it grows every day, mm. and it's so big. I don't know how it possibly could get overtaken. I see what you mean by another competitor. Whereas could. Right, okay. Twitter get overtaken. I think TikTok could overtake. Well, it won't, but TikTok could overtake YouTube because it's in the same world but shorter. Yeah, yeah, like it could overtake it, but, but it won't be. I think YouTube's clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even if it overtakes it on numbers, it won't be Death. putting YouTube down. No, it yeah. would just be overtaking. No, like, I don't think so. And you don't think any of the, like you don't think Twitter or Instagram could either. No. Because I feel like that's the thing I, I can't Twitter tell. Twitter, yeah, maybe. Twitter's the one, because we live in this bubble, Yeah, I can't ever tell if what we think is what everyone thinks. Like, you see how we, like, I, me, for example, I've deleted Twitter. I think Twitter is a terrible app. Like, I think it's just a bubble of hate. Yeah. But does everyone see the hate and the cancel culture? Or there's probably a lot of people out there who literally just see like, oh, Graham Norton tweeted, good yeah. morning. And that's it. That's I don't know how many of my friends are on Twitter. My IRL friends. I don't, mm-hmm. I talk about stuff and Twitter and so on. And they're like, oh, I don't have an account. Whereas we, I mean, do you go on Facebook? No. I, no, I don't go on Facebook at all. No, I, don't, yeah. I check it once every now and then. And yeah. It's just a lad Bible thing. And then I see it. <laughs> and that's it. L- Laura, Laura will be like, have you seen what so-and-so is doing from school? And I'm like, I have no idea or interest at all. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook's. But it's still but it's it still is. huge, isn't it? So it's all but dependent is that on the user. The older generation, nah, because the, the the younger ones, the younger ones Who? still do. I think it, I think it's like 
I think, I think, and this is the word, this is, this will sum up Twitter as well, is Facebook's where you go to see your friends and for people to know who you are. Twitter's where you go to be anonymous and just shit talk people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and you yeah. know what broke the barrier, in my opinion, between like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Instagram. Mm. I know I said Instagram twice there, but I'd, we'd put them in the same category, yeah. right? Yeah. TikTok. Mm. It's sat in the middle. You say like the sidemen would be huge on loads of clips across like Facebook viral clips but you won't be big on instagram that much yeah whereas tiktok short funny clips yeah, it's the all and it's like mixed it all around and i feel like the kids that are at school and aren't on twitter because twitter's like you want a following you want people to talk to you yeah yeah true but the average person doesn't have a following unless it's their friends or they've picked an area that they want to be in yeah so tiktok's that place that's kind of merged the two lands it's, yeah you saw it with my with my Silent Room video it pushed yeah. me a million views and yeah. I didn't get linked. That's mad. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking crazy. That's incredible. Yeah, that's insane. And that, and that's what that's that's a good. It's, it's good that is because yeah. you know back in the day you have to link my link me in the description. When what what is the best thing to do is if I'm in a video, you know, be the best I can be, and if someone enjoys you, they'll go and find you naturally. Yeah, you yeah. have to link. You know, like this is this is this person's account, or I'm doing this for a reason. You just, you know, we're in in the podcast now. You're in a podcast. Maybe someone will go and check out your channel because they like who you are or yeah. like what you're doing or check out your shoes. That's what it should be like. It shouldn't be, you know, link me first, you know, all this type of stuff is dead. It should be natural and then people will will hopefully find you. And then TikTok is powerful in, in that sense. Hella powerful. But I think yeah. in like seven years, TikTok's going to have the same thing on YouTube where, because right now I'd say TikTok is the place you find the most like risky content. Mm. Yeah. Mm. In seven years, five years, whatever, everyone's then going to look back at it and be like, Wait, but these people posted these. Yeah. Because it's so new now that the people who are posting TikToks, there's going to be a lot of people who have 10 followers. They get a viral TikTok, give it five years, they might be famous. And then people will look back at their TikToks and be like, yes, they will do that. They will do that. Yeah. And again, everyone right now is laughing at these TikToks. Yeah. And in five years, you're going to have a go at them for it. But you're sat there laughing. Yeah. It's crazy as well, isn't it? That everything we're talking about here, all of it, uh, literally comes down to like the iPhone. That's, that's, That's done it all. Or yeah. the smartphone. But yeah, this no, is, you're right. We, yeah. we, wouldn't be, we wouldn't be doing this if it was all desktop. I don't, I don't, no, 100%. It's, it's no. this thing here. This is yeah. the issue. The iPhone changed the world. And we've, and we've not even spoke about Apple. We're blaming TikTok, all this other stuff. Yeah. And Apple just sat there trillion in the bank thinking... Yeah, you ain't going to sit on, you ain't gonna sit you on your to, desktop. Uh, half the screen, if you watch the first Apple uh, keynote for the first iPhone, they're saying the problem with all of these phones is that the bottom half of the device is the keypad. Yeah. Whereas we've made it so that you can bring up the keypad when it's necessary and use yeah. the rest of the yeah. screen when you don't need it. I remember watching that keynote, you know, the first one with the yeah. iPhone, and me and my dad there were like, "What? Is this is the future." Nuts, bro. And it, we, it actually has been. We, ha- we haven't you haven't thought about it, yeah. but it has been it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I watched the um, who's who's the fat, uh, the CEO of Apple that died? wasn't he? Act? No, oh. that died. Sorry. Oh, Steve Jobs. Sorry, Steve yeah. Jobs. Yeah, so yeah. stupid. I watched the Steve Jobs um movie. Uh, two nights ago yeah so I was just in the mood for it and I, yeah. I hadn't ever seen it and it's it's incredible mm. that it, you know how much you can believe it like how much he says in the film did he say in real life like this is going to be the future like he knew in yeah. the film that yeah. certain things were going to be the, fu- for the future yeah he's, like, he's a definitely a very odd person like he definitely got a lot of flaws like the way he, sure. like the way he treated people and the like some of his and his family yeah in, in his the way he was but also he was like incredible with what he Genius. tried to see. I don't know like any of the background stuff. Yeah. Do you think that he created it and knew that it would be yeah. also bad? Yeah. Oh, oh. I don't, think, ultimately... I, I don't think he cared. I think I think people who are in this field they don't see that part, but they also don't. I think they only see how it can help people. Yeah, so and, it ha- and it has done. Like we're, yeah. we're talking about all this hate, yeah. like that, 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 that Apple Watch and stuff. That that will, you know, if you if you have a heart attack, if you have you can, a fall, it can pick it up on it. The, if you don't tap it, it causes the police. Yeah, this is, this has done so many good things, but it's also yeah. done so many bad things. And I think that's us. I think you know what I'm saying. I think the way humans are, we like we just tap into things and we 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 make it bad. You know, that's what Jamie always says, isn't it? He always goes like the. People aren't ready for all of this. We're not, yeah. No, no, no. We're not. Like, we're not ready for YouTube, TikTok, etc. We're not ready for the internet, basically. Yeah, well, look, this is no. a t- social dilemma. The people who created it are like, what have we done? Yeah. yeah. They didn't know what they were doing, and it's not their fault. It's just it's what it's just a race, and no one stops to think, what are we doing until it's too late? You know, and it's hard. But again, I think I think still like I don't know if the positives outweigh the negatives and stuff like this. But I think it's a bit of both in it. It's just 
I think it was just as soon as these things were started, it was always going to go this way. Yeah. There's no, there was no other, you couldn't see it happening. Yeah. You couldn't predict it. Maybe some smart people could, but at the end of the Steve Jobs movie, or, you know, when he makes up with his, with his daughter, he's like, I'm sick of that um, big thing you've got. I'm going to put 500. No, I'm going to put a thousand songs in your pocket. And then she goes, really? Yeah. I'm sick of looking at that big old walkman. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like in that moment, yeah. he was like, okay, I'm going to create an iPod. Yeah. And that's Cause it, it, go, it goes up to that point. It's the, it's the Macintosh or it's the first Mac release yeah, or something yeah. like that. He's like, I'm going to fix that. So at the time, and it's like the same, I can feel it with the shoes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I want to create the shoe and that's fucking sick and no one's done it and it's a good idea and hopefully it will do well. And I found this great designer, but what further down the line? That's yeah. why I'm thinking about sustainability now. Yeah. You know I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. So it's, that's, that's a personal thing, but for everyone, it's like, you don't think about this stuff. Yeah. Have you ever noticed how on, sorry, on the iPad, there's yeah. no calculator app. Yeah. Is there not? Nah, it's because it was like a week before it was ready, right? That, that he he saw like the build of it and he was like that's not good enough shit like yeah. you need to do it again and they didn't have time so they just pushed it out with that one and they've never done one since yeah <laughs> mad so like now if you get I think if you get the calculate app it's just it's the iPhone app and you have to make it big that's how you used to do it back in the day oh really or now oh, no, there's just not one anymore is there? I don't think yeah, you, have get, you have to go on the app store and get one yeah 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 <laughs> it's mental that's <laughs> mad back, back in the day it used to be the iPhone one just bigger you know back on the iPad yeah, you, have yeah. To, you have to press times two and everything that's, that's what, what Instagram is on iPad oh wow. Well, as far as my Instagram is, yeah, yeah, it's small in the middle of the screen, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just haven't logged into it. Yeah, right. What, I what think were you gonna say? My like, my want, what I would love to happen, but will never ever happen, is just for social media apps to have to, you have to register to sign into it. Twitter, needs you have that. to actually put in like a photo ID. Because I think that would stop a lot of people that do hate comments. Yeah. That are like super far, like over the top. On, on yeah. Facebook, you're not going to go and, you're not going to go and um, comment on your like auntie's picture. Like didn't ask. You're not going to do that, are you? Because <laughs> no. it's your name. Well, on there. <laughs> you're getting judged by people, you know, your, your family and friends. Whereas on Twitter, you can be, you know. Um, Matty4851216 like that. Yeah, you can be like, like. No one knows who you are. Yeah. Sergio Aguero number one. Or like, <laughs> or like minimum to seven, you know, and, and not, no, no one judges you. Yeah, and you can I'm say go against you, want. you and say that I hope that never happens. <laughs> really? Because it will kill the it will kill. That's that, why I the said app slash. But that's why apps. I said it will never happen. Yeah, it will never. Yeah, it'd be it'd be. But like, it might do. It I might mean, do, it would right? be career suicide for or like the yeah, app would yeah, be gone. Yeah. No one would use the app. I mean, Twitter yeah. just didn't make. They don't make much money, do they? Anyway, apparently not. What was the app that they had and just threw it away? It was fine. Periscope. They or did they buy? They bought that. What was that recently? They just got rid of. It was Vine, wasn't it? Didn't they buy Vine for the technology? Yeah, it was Vine. They closed down Vine because, yeah. yeah. You know, Vine didn't end that long ago. How long ago? It seems... Well, maybe, hold on. It might be actually like... It didn't feel long ago though, but I'm saying like, I remember, you know the point where we were like, it's gone? Yeah. That, this is what I'm thinking of. I remember they literally... Could, it was not making enough money, so they just closed it. When... How they, crazy is that? It could have been TikTok, man. Well, could they were TikTok. TikTok. They, they were TikTok. They were TikTok, yeah, yeah. they were. And TikTok took everything that was good about Vine and added everything else. Like, like TikTok is better than Vine. I'll go and I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, 2017. Sure. 17. Yeah. Three years ago. Vine. But it feels like yesterday, but it also what feels long. It's, weird, it's a weird feeling. Yeah. Because TikTok, TikTok, sorry, Vine was amazing in terms of the comedy, but that, that's pretty much all it was. Mm. Whereas TikTok now is you learn on it, like you see viral videos on it. It's not just... It's the algorithm. It's the algorithm. It's not just incredible. comedy. Yeah. It's incredible. And again, you know, um, that's headed by a Chinese, the Chinese... Because they've literally gone and researched what are these people addicted to, we'll give it to them. Yeah. But and, and it's up to us, the content creators, to decide how are we gonna change the world. Are we, you know, are we just gonna post funny stuff? Are we gonna like lie, fake news? That's not that's on us at the end of the day. You can't blame like the Chinese government for tapping into what no, we are as people. Not at all. <laughs> the <laughs> so, issue is if you, if you don't do it, someone else is gonna do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it Obviously, matter. yeah. Like, someone's always gonna do it. I'm yeah. not talking about stealing your data. That's that's a different story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm blaming for that. But in terms of like what what we do is. Is, is, is what will shape culture whether we like it or not you know yeah. like like what what you know what i say in uh, what, what correct letters guru says in a pokemon video will change that industry and it's the same with anything else you know what someone says in i don't know the Fortnite world will change and for the Fortnite kids and then and then political the top of the, the president whatever, whatever what political people say will change yeah the world so 
that's down to them <laughs> and how like moral you are as a person, I think. Yeah. End of the day. So I don't know how it can be stopped. Probably won't be. Like you say, it's just going to get shit <laughs> Same but worse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I feel like that's everything. Pretty, pretty downward spiral in terms of. Yeah. <laughs> this might be the longest podcast we've ever done. Is it? How long is it? I think it's two hours and 28. Yeah. Damn. Well, Which is good. Yeah. thank you very much for thank you for your time. No us take up two good, and a half man. hours of your life. <laughs> good. Thanks for having me. No worries. Uh, as always, check out Calux. Even though we just said, you know, we shouldn't be pushing. <laughs> How about don't link me, and if they want to find me, okay, yeah, yeah just do that. Do no it. two ways as well. Everyone, check out thank No you. Two Ways. Yeah, thank you. He's he's just said uh, November 29th is when they come out. <laughs> Maybe a bit before that. <laughs> Calux plays as well. And Calix plays, yeah. Well, and the stream, all the plugs, all the and plugs. stream. I'm enjoying Among Us. They're like just spending. Like, it's, it's the same way where we did the quiz. It's like you're spending more time with each other. Yeah, I'm enjoying yeah. Among Us for that reason. Just a little bit more PG because we're on stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's oh, what... we should play Among Us once off stream. <laughs> oh, we should my... play it for fun one day. We have to do uh, that. I don't think anyone would. If it. we go into quarantine, if we go into quarantine, we would. We have yeah. to go on... remember we played like we did like pub quizzes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we have to do one session where it's just just troops, ten of us, right? Yeah, drinking. Yeah, we have yeah, to. We yeah, have yeah. to do that. Would be the best session. You ever. get voted out. You have to drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I text everyone. We'll, we'll set up one day. Okay. Um. No, but literally, I don't watch anyone's gaming videos. But I ended up watching your Among Us one because I, mean, I don't watch any of that. I'm in. It's 100. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I watch that one. And yeah, Among Us is just. Mm. I watch all your more Sidemen ones. They're fucking so jokes. good. I mean, jokes. Shout out. chip fat. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Chip fat. Jokes. Is ridiculous. <laughs> I've never. I don't think I've seen a video on YouTube that is edited better than that. You know, and that's not even a joke. Like it's unreal. Yeah, the the it's map. Unreal. That, the map that comes yeah. up is. I yeah. think it's because you don't need to do it. Like everyone else's Among Us videos are so simple, but well done. Yeah, you don't need to do that, but it amplifies it so much. Yeah, yeah. like the, the more time videos are the best. T- the Among Us videos on the entire YouTube. There you Man, go. I'll take it. I, I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's crazy. I just get accused for cheating all the, all the time. That's it. <laughs> What, what by reading? Re- go on. What were you going to say? Reading chat? What, or how you No, because uh, the way it's edited is like JJ always JJ, says, right. JJ always shouts who it is. Oh. And I can't hear it, but I everyone have knows we live together. That. I have thought that. And I've literally said to Tegs, like, why do you always put it like that? And he's just like, oh, it's just. Because literally, there's times I went back and looked at it because I was like, I couldn't hear him. I swear I couldn't. Looked. And I actually said, I think it's Harry. And then 10 seconds later, JJ goes, it is Harry. It's Harry. But the edit swapped them round, mm. and everyone's like, "JJ, it's Harry." Simon, one second later, it's Harry, guys. <laughs> uh, Fuck. Well, you guys yeah. do have to realize that they are literally the other end of the. Of you can't. I live. can't hear him. Like, yeah, if I had yeah, both yeah. doors open and he went like, "Ah," I'd hear a noise. I wouldn't hear words. Yeah, yeah. Like, there, I mean, there's, I mean, a, there's a whole living room. Yeah, and guys, a corridor. Guys, in the way. this is a really nice apartment. I don't go. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how much square foot this is? <laughs> 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 well yeah uh, check out everything of Lux's For we, sure. we will link it that's just thank yeah, you appreciate I have to get you on again as well I'm, nice, I'm, always nice I'm always here next time we've got five hours to spare <laughs> 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 but yeah thank Sweet. you guys so much today for listening also check out ExpressVPN in the description For sure. see you next week peace, peace. see care. ya